Hello everyone, welcome to What If DXD vs React is Say from a Different Timeline Part 6. Before we start please go support Unison Skeeth 666 for writing that awesome fanfic. Now let's begin. Ep 26 Recovery Relearn Unexpected Visitor During Random Hunts. Scene Change DXD Cast Universe Unknown Realm of Departed Ones. Scene Showing Skeeth Was At The Unknown Place Where Souls Of People Goes After Death While Carrying Five Set Of Souls In His Hands. Skeeth. Well that was quite easy, now just need to reconstruct back their body walk inside a portal, while whistling wonder if and Corbinic already finished their job or not. Scene change FGO world where Ritsuka came from realm between the rude and throne of heroes. Scene showing that and Corbinic just group up after finish doing what they intended to do here, while both of them carrying unconscious person and fireman, carry over their shoulder. Well well, how's it going on your side Corbinic? Corbinic. A not much shrugs the guy thought he's already deleted himself out of existence, he's sorely mistaken though, how about you though? Looking at the unconscious female figure on shoulder. Not too easy shrugs all I need is just to make some dummy to take over her place. Poor girl shaking head in pity she doesn't deserve all that all she ever want is recognition from others not to mention the betrayal from someone she blindly trust. Besides, don't you think that this Sunday or using his other hand point to the one he carry would be a great pair with Ritsuka? Corbinic. Of course she is who wouldn't ship them, both their pairing is underrated besides, she and Ritsuka would bond over their own past not, to mention both of them looks cute together, but both of them noticed that the people they're carrying groaned a little over the noise that both of them make, coughing a little well we already waste enough time already, let's go meet up with Skeeth, Corbinic. Nodding yeah, let's go. But both of them open up a portal heading towards their destination, after certain amount of time passed. Scene change inside of Skeeth house living room. Scene showing either Shiru Peter and Ritsuka came out from either room yawning before noticing most cast males sitting in their seat with haunted looks over their face, while some have eye bags over there looking around nervously. Either. Decided to tease them while giving a smirk so dot dot how was it was it hot last night. But the victims let out hysterical shriek after get reminded from last night nightmare. They say. Nuo don't remind me rushing straight towards nearest wall, continuously bashing his head against it trying to forget last night memory. Azizel. Why did I open that book, just whyy? Ollie. Screw it I pick get tortured by Rizivim rather than remembering last night together with Drag and Albion, join a say bashing their heads against wall, hoping to forget last night nightmare. Great Red. How. Dream is my domain why I can't delete the accursed nightmare from my memory. Gripping his head feeling confused why he can't delete the memories while office in her seat eating popcorn watching Great Red suffering with glee. How cow. If given a chance I would go back in time to beat my stupid past self for being curious. Serzich. Same with me. Auden. Me too. Michael. Dear father your son have sinned for being curious, letting out a sob while rocking back and forth traumatized in his seat with other male angels doing the same. But other lucky cast tried to calm down the unlucky ones from the trauma. But Shiru Peter and Ritsuka nervously gulping down saliva after watching the victim's reaction feeling glad that they didn't open the book before deciding to help calm down the victims, while well, either was hiding a crazed look after seeing the scene while thinking. Either. Feel my pain ha <laughs> if all of you thought that was the end of it wait till you guys get the entire volume ha 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 After several while with the victims finally managed to calm down and notice that Skeeth get inside the living room while bringing some foods. Skeeth. Notice the victim's haggard state and let out a laugh guess I don't need ask, anyways here's some food for you all give the foods to everyone else. Several while after everyone else done eating the foods. Peter. Looking around speaking of, where's Mr. and Mr. Corbinick? Skeeth. Wiping his mouth oh there outside waiting to bring a new guest to join you all while telling them what happened so far looking at Issei Azizel Barakiel and Ritsuka, and it's someone that you guys know, Issei. Someone that. Ritsuka. We knows. Skeeth. Oi Korbanek, bring M here shouting to outside of the room making, and Korbanek came inside the room. Alright come in you all. Korbanek. No need to be shy. After waiting a little and seven people slowly came inside the room making the Grigoris, Issei and others widen their eyes in shock, knowing five of them, and slowly goes towards them. Issei. R. Rainer. Azizel. You four. Arachiel. S.H. Shuri. I. Is that you? Makeno. M. Mom. Suzaku. Aunt Shuri. Rainer. Let out a tear yes. It's me Issei Kun with Kalwerner and Middled nudge her forward giving her encouraging grin. Kalwerner. Come on girl go for it. Middled. You've been suffering long enough, don't seek. Give warm smile seeing that Rainer finally got her wish such a shame dot dot that both of them unfortunately got separated by those things before they be together. I'm glad that that she and together with us got our second chance shivering remembering the infection. Shuri. That's right dot dot it was me Barakia Lakeno, Suzaku brought her arms out giving a group hug with her family. In case anyone is wondering, Rainer is in her date attire with Issei and she's in her real form. While Ritsuka starting to cry unable to believe his eyes after seeing two people he believed are dead. Ritsuka. 
D doctor, D director, dot 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 was it truly you both this this isn't a cruel joke right? Please tell me that this is true. Armani. Chuckle it's true Ritsuka dot dot this is really even I can't believe myself, come on. Here. Brought his arms out for a hug with Ritsuka instantly goes to Ramani hugging him while sobbing, Olga. Pouting HMPPH of course I'm real who do you think I am H hey I'll let go. Instantly blushing red being caught off guard after Ritsuka hug her while bowling making her try to push him out, but decided not to and slowly patting his back while caressing his hair comforting him, after remembering what happened to Ritsuka so far after her death being told about it by Skeeth and Korbanek, Olga. Seems like dot dot the same thing happened to both of us dot dot huh, don't worry. I'll be with you this time. White in her eyes in shock and instantly blushing red from what she just thought w wait what am I thinking just now. Meanwhile with Skeeth, Karbanek let out a grin and secretly do a fist pump while thinking the same thing after watching the interaction between Ritsuka and Olga. Skeeth Karbanek. The ship has starting to say low yeah b-a-b-y-y -Y Ritsuka Olga for the win. Armani. Thinking can't believe that Mash and others would fall in so low into depravity and would willingly do that to Ritsuka despite everything they have went through. Let out small sigh feeling he failed Ritsuka by not raising Mash properly, I'm glad that there's still other that's still on his side, when it happened don't worry Ritsuka me, and Olga will be with you this time not to mention. Curiously glance at Xcast to think that there's another world out there that the age of gods haven't ended at all dot dot how interesting. After several while with everyone else already have calmed down and start chatting between each other, while the the three faction looking at Ramani curiously feeling that he looks familiar for some reason, while Ramani was whistling innocently trying to be inconspicuous as possible whilst Ramani. Thinking while sweating nervously I'm just a normal person and not the king of mages Solomon, la 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 la. Bisay. So dot dot you said that. Basically you're aware about what happened so far all this time Rainer. Rainer. Nodding a little nervous why yeah and do you remember. The silhouette of me you've seen dot dot that would appear at some times dot dot that was actually me dot dot but also not me. But the stunned orc looking puzzled what Rainer mean by that and turn it essay curiously. Rias. What did she mean about silhouette of her essay? Please tell me. Asia. Please tell us essay san. Greg. Do you want me to talk about it essay? Essay. Let out a sigh no need drag, guess the cat out of the bag, turn to ORC, while others cast focus on the conversation interested at some times I would get imaginary vision of Rainer haunting me all these time, haunting me and would say some other words that I would not mention with Rainer looking down feeling guilty, even though it wasn't fully her that was taunting his say, that's why I would be hesitant at some times at several points of time with all of you girls advances. Anyways turn to Rainer what you mean by suddenly get in deep thought, thinking about Rainer words before realizing what Rainer mean wait. Don't tell me that dot dot it was because of my trauma all this time. Making me see different things. Skeeth. Snap his fingers making others turn to him, you're half correct to say you remember when you get killed by Rainer back then. But this say flinch a little remembering about it and rubbing his chest feeling phantom pain, while well, those that care of his say give Skeeth light glare for reminding his say about it. His say. Yeah but how does it possible that Rainer was in my consciousness all this time? Skeeth. Well remember Aida. You could say that it was the reason a fragment of herself get planted in you, that's how you would see silhouette of Rainer all these time, but Xcast felt chills in their spine remembering about it, while others that heard first time about Aida also start joining hearing the conversation feeling interested about it, Olga. Aida. Armani. Must be something from another world that wasn't related with our world I think, Serzic. What does Aida is connected about this matter Skeeth San? Skeeth. Brought out bucket of dates and start eating while explaining while both and Corbinic snatch some to eat well how, should I put it aha to be easier for all of you to understand, just think that Aida was like a zombie, virus meaning those that got killed by the infected would either become the infected themselves or the surviving victims would become the lost ones instead. But those that heard it widen their eyes in shock, fearing the implications about what would happen from the repercussions of being infected by Aida and hear a gasp and turn to Rainer who started to get panic attack. Rainer. Looking at her shaking hands in horror and not only t that I killed a say cun dot dot b, but I dot I also have infect a say cun w, with it that thing dot dot no dot dot no dot dot no 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 gripping her head getting into panic attack, middled. Rainer tried to hold Rainer down, but get pushed back guck, Halwerner. Calm down already also got pushed back, a say. Rainer goes to Rainer hugging while rubbing her head and her back, calming her down calm down. It's alright. I'm here now. Rainer. B but, I'm the one T that K kill you and brought you into such pain and betrayal. Is A. S H H H, it's okay, we already know the truth on how you become like that there was no need to be feeling guilty yourself anymore okay. Just let it go already, it's already in the past, and I already have forgive you. Rainer. Feel all the guilt she keep on herself starting to vanish after hearing Issei words and start crying profusely while start to hug Issei back I'm sorry Issei kun, I'm so sorry wuh. 
with everyone else let out a smile after seeing the spectacle while Issei former harem feeling jealous seeing how Issei are hugging Rainer, meanwhile his harem start looking between each other, giving knowing smile after looking at Issei and Rainer, will also give side glances to Middleton Kalawarner, Shiru. Suddenly see apparition his foolish younger self hugging Sakura briefly replace Issei and Rainer, making him rub his eyes in wonder, oh boy please don't tell me if it what I think it is glance around noticing especially Issei harem, and those that secretly give Issei longing look yup I think it was what I think it is sucks to be you kid and good luck. Meanwhile with Issei that still hugging Rainer fell chills in his spine but decided to ignore it in favor of calming Rainer down. After several while with Rainer finally calming down, Hal Werner. Together with middle Pat Rainer back looking at her and worry you okay there girl. Rainer. Why yeah, I'm sorry for pushing you girls like that, Middleton. It's okay, best friend forever. Brought out her arms for group hug. Ari y n a r e and Cal Werner. Yeah, best friend forever get into group hug with Donacy chuckle seeing it, Skeeth. Alright now let's continue on my explanation if all of you want to know Issei was actually briefly got infected and it was only get prevented by Rhea's gremory their point to her using his thumb. Rhea's. M me. Skeeth. Yup because in his dying moment Issei lucked out by managed to summon you, and you decided to revive him if he doesn't receive the flyer, when your familiar was handing it out to people before, or he didn't manage to summon you, there's a high chance he would get revived as an infected instead and I don't need say anymore what would happen next, if all of you get my gist with Xcast gulping down saliva and nervously thinking about it, Peter. By the way what do you mean about the lost ones Mr. Skeeth? Let me explain to be short, those that got attacked by and survive has high chance to get into special kind of deep coma, where their mind soul, thoughts would wander between the limbo the victims, would completely stay in that state, until their bodies weakening until death, and will be revived as an infected, unless the aida that cause it get terminated instead, Ajuka. So basically like sleep disease instead but more dangerous, Corbinic. Indeed and to explain about Issei seeing apparition of Rainer for those that got attacked by the infected, think the infected unconsciously inject an essence of Aida and themselves to their victims like a parasite, that's why there's a fragment of herself inside you. Besides when she tried to communicate with Issei from his own consciousness even, though he nearly become an infected and get cured after Rhea's grimory resurrect him but small side effect still lingers before disappearing and all of you already knows the symptoms of being infected right. Looking at Xcast that give a nod knowing what Carbonic was talking about, Skeeth. And the symptom that Issei got combined together with his trauma that he got after the incident making him see different things every time Rainer tried to communicate with him, instead of Rainer who tried to comfort and communicate with him a twist what Issei sees into something worse, Issei. Look down feeling disappointed with himself as so dot dot it wasn't Rainer fault it's my own fault and weaknesses all this time for being afraid and indecisive get slapped at the back of his head by great red tail, snapping him out of his thoughts, oh hey what gives, great red. Cross his arms giving a say stern look making him shut his mouth here done whining hatchling so what if you're afraid, there's nothing wrong with it, everyone would be like that at some point of their life what matter now is looking towards the future use the experience of the past as a lesson so that it cannot happen again, got it, Greg. Senior Big G is right to say, you are my partner that was headstrong pushing through everything, despite the odds prove it to everyone that you are a proud red dragon emperor, but this say rendered speechless hearing it before giving determined looks, I say. You're right chuckle thanks for pulling me out from depressing thought, Skeeth. Anyways, we've been talking long enough, let's get ready for the next viewing, with everyone get to their seat while Skeeth point his remote on the screen with the screen start opening up, Olga. So. You're saying that you're gonna go to that world to Ritsuka. Ritsuka. Yeah, honestly I'm interested, been training using the weapons with Shiru-san and Peter-san under either San guidance, Ramani. Give grateful nod to three of them thank you for taking care of Ritsuka all these time, Shiru. No worries it wasn't a hassle the kid was fun to hang around with, Peter. Yup Mr. Shiru is right, it's fun with him around, either. Anyway, guess we should focus on the viewing then, it's already starting up, Skeeth. Oi Ritsuka here throw small bundle to him, Ritsuka. What is this Skeeth-san? Skeeth. Just some clothes for wardrobe change it pair well with Harbinger, try it later, Ritsuka. Give grateful bow thank you Skeeth san, Skeeth. You're welcome, screen open, scene change Yukumo village infirmary area, scene showing our four unconscious protagonists in their bed covered in cast from head to toe, slowly starting to stir up from unconsciousness, but this a volley drag and Albion gulping down their saliva nervously seeing their other self conditions, while the screen zooming in towards this a showing his eyes slowly blinking before suddenly open wide with him, get in sitting position gasping for breath before wincing from pain from sudden action, while the other three groan from the noise this a make before getting up weakly, this a Guys let out small breath of relief seeing his friend still alive, despite how their condition is. Ollie. Erg what was that thing that attacked us back then dot dot it hit as hard as Goku-san and Vegeta-san wincing before shivering, remembering the blow he received. Albion. 
Can't you please don't remind us of that my back still hurts after being treated like a ragdoll from that thing. Greg. Same dot dot what more important is how long we are out. Male voice. For your question Drag all four of you are out for three months already. When suddenly the door opened with four of them turned their head shocked, seeing it was Tsukasa following with worried high save Afra Rag and Albert who goes to their respective partners that hug them back, reassuring them they are alright. All four. Tsukasa-san. Tsukasa. Do finger salute with a smirk yo, how's the VIP trip of hot time with Rajang feels? The four of them shivering remembering the beating they got. Meanwhile the foolish ones also shivering remembering last night dream hoping it would not be repeatable. Be either. Shaking head in pity poor fools there's no escape from the hot time. They say. Anyways dot dot that thing name is Rajang huh? Tsukasa. Yup that was its name and as you all already guessed it was a Saiyan counterpart's monster version in this world. Greg. I knew it when seeing that thing was bad news. Tsukasa. Shrugs your guys was quite lucky though. Making four of them turn to Tsukasa with their mouth gaping in shock. Albion. Lucky. Ollie. What are you mean by lucky? We got beaten senseless back then. Tsukasa. The one that appeared in high rank missions are mostly adolescent, meaning they are not as powerful as the one you found on master rank. The four of them together with their palicos broke into cold sweat after hearing it, but the audience except the hosts and either also sweating nervously after hearing it. Peter. He's joking right? Nah he's dead serious. Michael. I'm dreading what kind of monster we would see in master rank now. Be real. Same with me brother. I say. Sighing darn it, seems like we got much more to learn, I'm glad that we take either sand advice to train ourselves back then if not. Greg. We would die instead of barely surviving. Ollie. Anyways, thanks for saving us Tsukasa-san. Tsukasa. Shrugs sure I was around the area and just finished doing my mission. Albion. Speaking of when did you came to this world we never heard anyone mention about you before about being a hunter. Tsukasa. I came visit this world long ago to send someone here at a suggestion of my friend never been interested being a hunter though but decided to go for it for fun I start around half a year ago, from this world timelines now, I already surpassed master rank thinking him. Should I bring those four here? Seeing that they already recovered their memories and start their journey again, but four of them mouth gaping in shock hearing Tsukasa fast progress, they say. I knew that Tsukasa-san is powerful. Greg. But to think that he bulldozed his way through in such a short time. Ollie. Well we still struggle to even hunt in high rank. Albion. Realize something wait what you mean by surpassed master rank. But the audience turn either and our hosts in confusion. Serzich. Wait wasn't master rank the highest one can reach. Erekiel. Is there something we're missing here? Well Skeeth Karbonik and either reply the same thing with a smirk making them sweat drops. Skeeth Karbonik either. Sorry, would be spoilers if we said so. Tsukasa. Smirk's trade secret, would be spoilers if I tell you guys about it just reach peak master rank first just for your information, either already on the way to surpass master rank, but four of them making determined face trying to catch up with either to stand side by with him, they say. Man we got lots of catching up to do huh? Tsukasa. Anyways, just some advice from me try learn using other types of weapon I know that you four can use other weapon, a little bit but try branching out, instead of focusing just one, but four of them in deep thought hearing what Tsukasa just said before nodding feeling he's right, they say. We'll take your advice on that Tsukasa-san, anyways rubbing the cast area on his chin, why I feel lighter on my chin. But other three also start rubbing their chin and mustache area and wonder after his say mention it. Bali? Huh? You're right I wonder why. Greg. Even my mustache area feels light. Albion. You feel it too drag. Tsukasa. Let out small chuckle while wearing mischievous grin oh, about that I take it upon myself too. Brought out old school razor spinning it, shave the mustache and beard of you four, while well, all of you are unconscious, here's a mirror for you four give a mirror to four of them, and leave silently, but four of them stunned after hearing what Tsukasa just said before desperately open up the cast on the mentioned area before using the mirror to check and notice that the mentioned area are sparklingly clean without any trace of beard and mustache, all four. Noo. Meanwhile with Tsukasa outside. Tsukasa. Ha 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 Meanwhile. With our audience. Especially with a certain group. Greg. My beard, Albion. My beautiful and glorious beard, Azazel. Nuuo gripping his head in anguish, Zioticus. Point to the screen murderer murderer, Lord Phoenix. What did the poor mustache and the beard ever done to Yao? Lord Citri. Why just whyy? Erechiel. We didn't even manage to bring them into the club yet slam his fist to the ground in frustration, Auden. On his knees crying in anguish together with his son's blasphemy this is blasphemy, Albion. Such cruelty, Sun Wukong. Still crying let us offer a moment of silence for the loss of would-be comrades. 
but the bearded group falls silent to pay respect while still crying while everyone else sweat drops watching their antics. Six months later of full recovery from injuries and getting used with all weapons. Scene showing four of them in using different types of weapons were Issa using lance volley using longsword, Drag using hunting horn, while Albion using gun lance where they are currently hunting at Tigrex with it, are weakened from long fight. Incus everyone wondering, they still using the same armor from last chapter and using weapons of the same series. Issa. Burst through using counter attack against Tigrex bite piercing through its tongue, making it step back roaring in pain. Ollie. Here goes using the chance provided by Issei and proceeds to do Sakura slash cutting through Tigrex tail, making it fall to the side. Greg. Oh yeah babyy let's roll immediately goes to down Tigrex, unleashing countless bash to its head before ending with magnificent trio, stunning it further. The four of them immediately go setting up mega barrel bomb all over Tigrex body. Albion. Kukikuku wakey wakey proceeds to do wyvern fire ending up with an explosion, killing the Tigrex with it completely charred and covered in soot. Sererg. Whistle they make a short work of that monster huh. Tobio. Seems like they are working hard getting used with all weapons. Issei. A lance and shield huh. Looking at his other self choice of weapon in interest. Ollie. Hum dot dot that was interesting sword technique wonder if I can incorporate it with my wing blades. Greg. Never thought that I would use something related to music as weapon other me got the moves. Albion. Same with me but nice explosions let out savage grin. But all four of them give a high five between each other after successful hunt and start conversing while carving their rewards. They say. Man it sure take a long time for us to getting use with all these weapons. Ollie. Indeed. Back then sensei would always switch weapons every hunt guess it won't hurt doing the same. Greg. Haha ha, indeed it is. Honestly I'm stupefied why we didn't do this sooner. Using hunting horn was fun. Albion. I'm glad that we take Tsukasa san advice hey guys I got an idea for our next hunt. They say. Oh. Do tell. Albion. How about we do four gun lance run against that bird, putting it to sleep before. Chuckle evilly I don't think I need to explain more wasn't it. With other three start chuckle evilly realizing Albion plan. Either. Ah, they're planning to do that huh chuckle evilly. Ritsuka. Uh, what they're planning to do now. Ajuka. I don't know but I can't help but pity the Kirapeko they're gonna hunt next sweat drops. Ollie. Your genius Albion. Greg. Color me impressed I didn't even think of it. Issei. Anyway six months left before we're going back I'll let out content smile remembering past hunt. Ollie. Yeah guess we just need to work harder on our paths to master rank on our next visit then. Albion. Such a shame that we take lots of time to reach it but can't be helped that we encounter many setbacks along the way. Greg. Indeed speaking of notice several stone-like object fall at the corpse of Tigrex, they are currently carving wait a minute why it looks so damn familiar wide in his eyes, realizing what it was, after seeing a turn orange geist bagel 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 incoming bagel incoming jump aside in hurry. The other three widen their eyes in horror after realizing what Drake mean after seeing what Drake see before scramble away in hurry right before the explosion, and look at the sky after getting up seeing two unexpected intruder roaring at them while dropping more stone-like scales upon the four of them. All four. Oh buck not this blasted thing again and there's three of them for buck's sake. Skeeth. Grinning let me introduce you guys the famed Basil Geese or one of it infamous nickname B-52 Bomber. But those that don't know about the new monster wait with bated breath about what would happen while being puzzled about it nickname. Either. I twitching a little while muttering I hate the damn blasted thing. But the three Basil Geeses start flying all over the place while dropping out its scales all over the area, making continuous explosions, making all four of them run funnily all over the place. Issei. How the buck these things suddenly appear just now. We didn't even notice it. Ollie. Is these things secretly a ninja or what? Metatron. Ninja are getting up excited before getting pulled back to his seat by exasperated Uriel and Raphael, while others sweat drops. But four of them notice that they are trapped after being surrounded by scales of three basil geese that currently flying towards them roaring with its entire scales turning red. Drago HHH sheet run guys are you nnnn. Albion buck 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 fuckkk sheet incoming fire and the holy fire and the holy. But the screen turned dark the moment right after all four of them jump dodging the kamikaze attack. Sounds of continuous explosion going off. But the audience accept our three hosts and either jaw drops after seeing the unexpected scene, but the screen brightened up again after several while showing all four of them in the hot spring relaxing while their palicos nursing their injuries while talking about last hunt. They say. I'm still stupefied how the heck such large thing like that thing can sneak upon us rubbing forehead from headache. Ollie. I'm glad that we are more skilled than before to escape from it that things show up intruding in nearly every quest no wonder the guild dubbed it party crasher, it's like the damn pickle, but with wings instead. But the cast shivering imagining Deviljo with wings. Greg. I guess that's how the three faction felt when me and Albion show up unexpected during their war one think. Albion. Guess that's karma and due date for us eyeing depressed. Great war participants. Thinking now you know how we feels. They say. 
What I'm puzzled is, how it can appear and place it where it shouldn't be possible at all. Bali. Yeah right there this time I'm doing transporting egg quest, and that blasted thing magically appeared while I'm on the way back cover his face sobbing, feeling traumatized from doing the quest with Issei patting his back as sign of comfort, Issei. I can feel you bro it also appear when I'm just doing simple golden fish quest, let out a tear of understanding the blasted thing always appear every single time I manage to fish one dot dot I need to wait an entire day before it leaves before starting to fish again, start let out small sob I once camping for 3 weeks just to do 20 golden fish quest why did I pick the area that only have one fishing spot I never knows, start sobbing together with Heisei, remembering the said quest, but other 3 and their palicos gasp in horror, unable to imagine how dreadful it is just to wait a day just to get one mere golden fish, Greg. And there this time when both me and Albion just doing simple coal quest, let alone powderstone quest shivering from memory, Albion. Buck why the hell you have to bring back the damn memory, you bastard my heart still ache remembering it. Any flashback start, scene showing both Albion and Drake together with their palicos currently mining in deepest part of volcano, Greg. Mining out an ancient looking stone that was flat in shape with his eyes literally shining after seeing it oh yeah this is it, you're the chosen one my precious you're going home with daddy now dot dot my precious hoo yeah ha ha creepily rubbing his cheek with the stone he just mine out, all with Albion, Albion. Speaking with crazed look while hugging countless carbolite or fire cell stone and rainbow or in his arms making some spill out ooh you're mine all of you all of you are mini e, you're going home with me dot dot yes, you're going home with me. Well their palicos are also in the same state like them. Well every dragons in the room was literally drooling seeing the ores that other Drake and Albion just mining out, while others feeling creeped out seeing other Drake and Albion actions. Drake. In trance walking towards the screen with his hands out my precious my precious. Your papa is here now. Albion. Well also in same state like Drake come on. Let's go home now my precious. While Issei and Vali was struggling holding back their partners from walking forward and trying to snap them out from the trance, after seeing that they literally rubbing their cheek on the big screen, especially right on the or image, after a while with the dragons in the room finally snap out of it while coughing embarrassed with red face, great red. Laugh accurately I can't believe that I easily get into trance like that. Office. Same with me covering her face embarrassed with Lilith doing the same, after a while with all of them snap out of it coughing embarrassed, Greg. Oh boy, I'm glad that no one else would see us. Albion. Yeah. Imagine the embarrassment. Xcast except the dragons. Thinking too late. Greg. Same with me dread if Heisei and Baffermeal see us. Alber. They would tease us oh bad Mir. The four of them continue mining and when prepared to head back to camp after get the required amount of coal to complete the quest, and they suddenly heard a familiar roar above them, well countless scales dropping all over the place, especially right on the sacks containing the ore they just mined over with both Drake and Albion, together with their palicos looked in horror unable to react, seeing the ores they painstakingly mining all day about to be blown up just like that, ooh um, Drake Albion Drake Alber. No, but every dragon in the room looked in horror with some already started to faint looking at the murder, especially Drake and Albion, who was nearly catatonic seeing their precious get murdered like that, and also several brief instances showing their mining for powderstone but instead of powderstone they mine out it, with scales of basil geese that explodes right in their face every single damn time, mini flashback end, but this say Vali Haisei and Baffer gasp in horror while also feeling glad that the same thing didn't happen with them when doing coal and powderstone quest, they say. Anyways, let's go hit the hay, it's getting late now getting up stretching, but others giving a nod agreeing with his say and do the same, but the screen briefly showing them hunting different kinds of monster, and also briefly showing an image of four of them laughing with crazed face, using wyvern fire at Kirapeko that was trapped in pitfall trap, that was filled to the brim with mega barrel bomb ending up with major explosion, all four. Hahaha. <laughs> Six months later, scene change Yukumo village gate. Scene showing Issei Vali Drag and Albion hugging their palicos comforting them while Issei Kanaha and village chief are there sending them off. Issei. Well guess this is it for now. Ali. In the end we didn't manage to reach master rank yet sighing disappointed. Greg. Well, only the last quest left before we will be promoted to master rank shivering, remembering the content the quest. Albion. Can't believe it that we need to hunt those and it would take some time for us to be prepared against those things, but other three giving a nod agreeing with Albion, they say. Yeah and we need to be back home spending time with others, Ollie. We've been spending like two year and half year, means we got ten days left for summer break to visit Sarayarg and Razor, Greg. Well enough talking, let's go home, Albion. Very well then, but four of waving back to their palicos and others that sending them off before get inside the portal going back home, screen close, Skeeth. Get up grinning turning to curious ones well guess you all would be curious about basil geese is with a curious one giving a nod, I'll try explain it as simple as possible, 
Basil Geese, or as we dub it B-52 Bomber Party Crasher Bagel and many more. It's the same type like Davilja where they wouldn't invade the area the hunters would do their quest as and both Davilja and Basil Geese are rival between each other. Besides considering that how Basil Geese can fly and it doesn't flap their wings when flying, making it unsuspecting target, didn't realize that they are hunted by Basil Geese. Honestly when comparing with either two Basil Geese was more annoying because how frequently it invade any area they want and they would somehow instinctively ruin other people day. Horbenik. Literally they are menace that would bring chaos to everywhere they go. Surzich. Let out breath of relief Wii U. I'm glad that Rizavim didn't ever learn about this monster or worse didn't accidentally bring it to our world. Azazel. Yeah would be total disaster if it happens. Skeeth. Chuckle about that dot dot I wouldn't be so sure. Making entire Xcast turn their head to Skeeth in shock feeling horror gripping their hearts. Auden. W what do you mean by that? Remember that monster in that world can only be injured and killed in that world and would be invisible in other world right? Horbenik. There's an alternate reality that Rizavim accidentally summoned a countless amount of basil geeses in that world both he and Cow's brigade immediately regret it and learn it the hard way. Even the supernatural world wasn't spared from the chaos those basil geeses brings. Skeeth. Rather than talk let me show you guys a little point his remote to screen, well let out cruel grin. Screen open alternate realities. Narrator voice. After certain amount of time Rizavim summon the Basil Geeses, and together with him and Cow's brigade, get terrorized and demolished by our beloved B-52 bombers. Scene change underworld Surzich office. Scene showing Surzich with haggard look signing and stamping through the towering paperwork filling through the entire office before cheering. Surzich. Wohoo yeahh baby finally done with all these paperworks. But Surzich slowly getting up going to coffee machine making some coffee humming to himself. Surzich. While well, still making a coffee ah. Finally done with the paperwork. I've been stuck in my office for more than a month. It's about time for me to get home to spend time with Grafia Chan Milikas and together with mom and dad not to mention that checking out Haria's tan progress with a say. Already finished making the coffee and start drinking it before heard a certain roar in the distance followed with sounds of explosions and destruction. Surzich. Shaking his head hoping what he thinks wouldn't happen no 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 please don't tell me it wasn't what I think. But Surzich slowly turning back still drinking coffee, seeing nothing but destruction with every paperwork starting to turn into nothing but ashes, while the basil geese that crashing through his office start to get up and flap at wings, then leaves like boss from the hole it came through, while dropping its scales while flying, leaving nothing but destruction and chaos on underworld with some. Basil geese's also appears and join the first one raining their scales. Surzich. Still drinking coffee while rubbing his eyes oh dot dot I must be daydreaming just now from overdoing my paperwork. There's no way that a monster crashing through my office and destroy all my hard work can go attacking underworld right it must be a bad dream. But Surzich start having panic attack after seeing the destruction with Grafia try to calm him down while others that was terrorized with paperwork look in horror with some looking at Surzich in pity. Surzich. Yeah it must be a dream no way all these paperwork already turn into ashes right. Right. Get on his knees with his hand shakily picking a paperwork and brought back to reality after notice the paperwork in his hand turn into ashes and let out traumatized scream full of anguish I irk with his scream echoing across the entire underworld that was in chaos from continuous explosions. Surzich. Nuu proceeds to fall off unconscious while foaming from the mouth with his family catch him in alarm. Rafia. Surzich Sam. Milikas. Fathar. Rias. Brother. Z-O-T-I-C-U-S and Benalana. Surzich. Isay. Nai San. Ajuka. Gulp down saliva no please don't tell me. Azazel. Please don't. Please don't. Auden. No 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 no. With the screen continuously changing several times showing Ajuka who was gripping his head screaming in horror, seeing his lab destroyed with everything in ashes, while Azazel gone into catatonic state, seeing his secret lab in fire with his entire life works on sacred gear research turned to ashes. Auden who gone into seizure seeing the place he hid his porn stash burning, making a tower of flame and many many more scenes showing every leaders in similar state, seeing everything turn to ashes. Screen close. With everything fall into chaos with literally every leaders in cast following Surzich foot steps with everyone from Xcast scrambling trying to snap them out of it. While Skeeth and Corbin wearing 3D glasses munching popcorn watching the drama. Armani. Should we dot dot help them? Skeeth. Nah let them this is fun to watch munching popcorn. I need my daily dose of opera here munch. Corbinic. Hey pass me the coke take the coke drinking it. Either Peter Shira Ritsu Kolga. Romani. Thinking while shivering feeling glad that same thing didn't happen in their world how evil. After a certain amount of time with the leaders of Xcast wake up and being calmed down by others turn to Skeeth and Korbanik for explanation. Skeeth. Alright, we'll explain seeing how you all are curious, how did the Basil Geese can appear all over the supernatural world terrorizing it? Michael. Yeah how. 
Well, seeing that Rizavim in that world wishing for chaos and destruction on supernatural world he stupidly decided to summon beings that can achieve that, and as a result he accidentally summoned countless amount of basil geeses, and you could say he immediately regretted in his last moments, as he and the rest of Cow's brigade that was present during the summoning get obliterated after that, Shiva. But it doesn't explain how did those basil geeses can appear all over the entire supernatural world. With other cast nodding in agreement, Korbanik. You could say that as a result of summoning, those basil geeses coincidentally gain an ability to teleport all over the supernatural world, as per Rizavim wish of bring chaos and destruction to supernatural world, so human world are safe against the basil geeses, and supernatural beings seeing that they are unable to do anything at all. They have no choice but to evacuate to human world living among the humans, while occasionally sending scouts checking those basil geeses to die naturally, or from starvation and luckily enough all those basil geeses are male so, they are unable to reproduce but it, Take quite a long time for those basil geeses to die, Skeeth. Weirdly enough, because of that world Rizavim's stupid action the cow's brigade get obliterated before they have chance to wreak havoc upon the world and the entire supernatural world proposed an alliance to survive together, bringing long-lasting peace. But Kx cast sweat drop seeing how the supposed monster became the savior of that world, albeit unintentionally. Ollie. I don't have comment about what to say about that. Issei. Sweat drop same with me. Skeeth. And in case you're curious, Office wasn't present during summoning but she's been traumatized from the assault of Basil Geeses after returning to remains of Cow's Brigade headquarters and meet those Basil Geeses. But Office shivering in her seat, feeling glad she didn't meet those Basil Geeses before being comforted by Issei calming her down. Skeeth. Getting up together with an Carbonic alright guess it's time for us to go go take a rest then by the where it's Suka. Suka. Why yes. Skeeth. Do you mind if Olga and Romani start living with you from now? Seeing that we haven't make a house for them yet, Itsuka. No of course not it would be my pleasure grinning happily seeing that he will spend more time with them I would love to if they start living with me, Skeeth. Great take care then and see ya on next viewing all of you us three have some matter handle for a while, but Skeeth and Corbinet go out from the house and disappear to nowhere via bright portal, either. Alright, I'm also gonna head back came to my house if free you five leaves the house, Peter. Of course we will give thumbs up and also start to leave to his house, Shiru. Chuckle while on his way to his house very well, I'll come later either send I also can't wait to go to that world grinning in anticipation, Ritsuka. Come on director, doctor let me show you both my house grab both Olga and Romani by their hand dragging them, Olga. Blushing red from the sudden contact H hey slow down you idiot no need to drag me thinking, while still blushing from the contact WY I'm feeling happy t that he grabbed em my hands. Start remembering the romance novel she secretly reads D Don tell me T that I I start feeling dizzy from her own imagination while blushing harder. Romani. Chuckle alright, alright Ritsuka slow down, we're not going anywhere thinking while still getting dragged seems like he's starting to return back to his cheerful self, I'm glad that both me and Olga were saved and brought here. Smile seeing Ritsuka dull eyes starting to have some light in it but cast after seeing the other guests leave to their home also decided to hit the hay. Meanwhile with Raynor together with Middleton Calwiner stopped puzzled after seeing Issei Harem ask for them to follow them to their shared room. Don't seek. Chuckle after realizing Issei Harem intentions hey, seems like this going to be more interesting from now on leave to his room. While Akeno gulping down saliva nervously seeing Shuri with stern face asking Akeno to follow her together with Barakiel for a Luong talk. Suzaku. Shaking head feeling pity for her cousin I knew this gonna happen with Aunt Shuri are brought back now, it's up to you to realize your own mistake Akeno. Scene change unknown location. Scene showing Skeeth and Korbanik appear from a portal in a certain pose. Skeeth as Wamu, Korbanik as Esadisi and as Cars while holding a popcorn bucket while still wearing a 3D glasses. Skeeth. Getting up stretching Ryu that feels good, anyways I got nothing to say, hope everyone enjoy this chapter see you later turn to leave. But serious face always brush your teeth and don't forgot to eat your bread everyone turn to leave. Orbanik. Shaking head amused with antics year year days. Can't you stop being a troll for once? Turn to leave. The three of them walking towards to a white portal before disappear into said portal. Ep 27 yep as you guys know stupid PTSD strikes again. Scene change on a path heading to Skeeth house. Scene showing Skeeth and Corbinic casually walking towards Skeeth house while having small talks. Skeeth. Well seems like I already on retreat long enough. Sighing it's already a month already noticed the view amounts already more than 100k view huh. Yeah, about time you start continue writing now. Corbinic. Well can't blame him after what happened that incident making him remember forgotten memories, Skeeth. 
rubbing forehead from small headache or please don't remind me of that it sucks, and you guys know it noticed his house seems like we already arrived I go inside, first regain his composure, and walk faster before getting inside his house followed with and Corbinic, scene changed Keith house viewing room, scene showing X cast was chatting between each other while waiting for their hosts, they say. Man I wonder what would happen next, speaking of it's been quite a while since Keith San, San and Corbinic San been out, any idea Drag? Drag. Shrugs dunno about that, they probably have some business for them to handle, anyways you got company grin, and point to Issei back making him turn back seeing Shy Raynor was pushed forward by Issei Harem, together with Kalorinor and Middled, making both Issei and Raynor stand facing each other awkwardly, Issei. R Raynor. Raynor. I say Kun. Dreg. Bahahahaha <laughs> I leave you two lovebirds alone for now, alright you five, let's give your master some alone time leaves laughing followed with Selwyn Natsu Oda Uesugi and Takeda, Bull both Issei and Rainer blushing red from drag teas and start talking with each other, meanwhile with Akeno who was watching Issei interaction with Rainer and let out a sigh feeling pang of jealousy and regret, Akeno. I can't believe it that I'm so blind before remembering her wake up call from her parents and Suzaku the other day, Rias. Sit beside Akeno and let out a sigh saying with me we're too rash and blow our chances already with him with our own selfishness. Akeno. Riaz do you think that Issei will accept us back? Riaz. I I don't know shaking head uncertain with Akeno question but both of them trying to bury down their own jealousy and regret watching Issei and Rainer interaction between each other and let out small frown seeing how Issei give a kiss to Rainer head who was blushing hard. R.I.S. and Akeno. Thinking with jealousy it should have been me not her. Well, both Benalana and Shuri sighing seeing their daughter lament, meanwhile with other Xcast, cast, Sererg. Hmm, I'm curious. Kusha. What is it Sererg sama Sererg. I wonder what would happen in that world gathering of devils, Razor. Now that you mention it Razor also curious, will Razor also join too in the gathering, seeing that coughing embarrassed remembering his trauma of dragons back then other Razor didn't have same problem like Razor, Ubaluna. Massaging Razor shoulder I also curious to Razor sama Sikvera. Anyways do you think that other is a.k. coughing hiding her blunder blushing with other guys, giving her knowing smirk without her noticing other is a san and volley san will join too. Sirzich. They will possibly join too I think probably. Notice door opening with Skeeth came out the door followed with and Carbonic oh welcome back, Skeeth Carbonic. Yo, what's up everyone how you're all doing, Azizel. We're good so it's time for next episode is it? Seeing how Skeeth goes to his seat and point the remote to screen, Skeeth. Yep, let's get started then. Screen open. Scene change Haidu house living room. But the main door suddenly brought open with a save Ali Drag and Albion came inside the house. Ali. We're homie grinning. Hauki. No matter how many I've seen it I still can't get used seeing a cheerful volley sweat drops with the Gregory's team slash dog and volley team nodding in agreement. Ball volley eye twitching remembering his cheerful other self past antics. Asia. Turn to the source of voice and brighten up after seeing a say and others a say San. Rainer. Issei Kun together with the other girls goes to Issei giving him a hug, after exchanging greetings with everyone already taking their seat, Issei. So what happened during our absence Razor? Razor. Nothing much except feeling awkward on how to explain it, Ollie. Except. Ravel. Ahem let me explain, Grimory family came the other day, and they tried to renovate the house as gift for saving Ria's Sama and Sona Sama, together with their peerage with Issei eyes narrowing after hearing that, Issei. I see and. Sererg. Coincidentally me and Razor was here to visit that day and we put a stop to their action we know that you don't like if someone suddenly just change your house to something else without permission, but this a volley together with Drag and Albion let out breath of relief feeling thankful for Razor and Sarayr gesture, Sirzich. Seems like it would end badly if my people managed to renovate the house, then Alana. It probably because he want to keep the house as it is in memory of his parents, Zioticus. You have my thanks young Razor young Sarayr for preventing my people from renovating the house and prevent the ire of other Issei. R-A-I-S-E-R and Sarayr. You're welcome Lord Zioticus. Ali. Wiyu, thanks dude for stopping them would be trouble if they found the diorama, if they managed to do what they planned or worse, if they accidentally managed to find that. Middled. That. Tilt head confused. Greg. Wave off her curiosity a gift from their teacher to us, maybe we'll show it to all of you someday. Albion. Just to shed some light to all of you it was quite dangerous if it fall to the wrong hands, considering the destructive potential of that. Akabiel. Yeah, considering the possibility of the diorama it probably be dangerous if it fall to wrong hands considering its uses. Razor. Shocked wait do you guys mean that? Sererg. Jaw drop a little wait a minute you guys have that inside this house. But both Razor and Sererg wiping their sweats a little terrified and feeling glad that they managed to prevent the worker from renovating the house. Azizel. Okay now I'm really curious after seeing those two reaction about what they mean about that, but other X cast nodding in agreement about something that teacher of Issei and Volley leaves for them together with Drag and Albion, Zioticus. 
and seems like other Razor and Sererg also know what it is already, the Kabyle. Nodding agreeing with the reasons after seeing Razor and Sererg response despite his curiosity him we won't pry anymore after seeing those two reaction but I have something to ask, they say. Sure what is it, the Kabyle. It's about the warning that you got do you mind tell us about it. But other occupant in the house lean forward interested while they say volley, drag and Albion looking at each other and nodding deciding to tell them about it, they say. You could say that we're lucky having managed to survive and escape, Ollie. We encountered three monster that was only huntable for master rank, not to mention that there was an elder dragon in the area, shivering from the memory of the chase, together with a say Drag and Albion, while the others feeling concerned and nervous after seeing their reaction, Drag. And after probing for information at the guild that elder dragon was among the higher tier of elder dragon recorded making other nervous, Albion. If my guesses is right, that Elder Dragon was as powerful as Senior Big G probably more, even if I hate to admit it, Greg. That's right now that you mention it, it's been a while since we visit Senior Big G how about we go visit him later Albion. Albion. Pondering Drag ID yeah you're right, it's been a while since we visit him need to check if we still got the moves hey I say volley you, both want to go visit Senior Big G together with me and Drag. They say. Nod sure, it's also been a while since we visit him need to learn some moves from him, Ollie. Count me and grin in excitement man never thought he can do those sick moves I can't wait to learn more from him. But other occupant in the room tilt head confused about who is the senior big G, that is say Volley Drag and Albion mention except Razor and Sererg, who was chuckling knowing who was it they were talking about, Serzich. Hmm. Seems like other Razor and Sererg already know and meet other Great Red from their reaction, Great Red. Hmm. Seems the other two hatchling already follow our footsteps hey Drag Albion, you both know what I'm thinking right? Let out knowing grin to Drag and Albion, with both of them doing the same to Great Red, and the three of them turn to sweating Issei and Bali, with both of them letting out nervous gulp, after noticing Great Red Drag and Albion stare towards them, Skeeth. Secretly brought out one of Dance Dance Dragon Revolution file writing some notes on it, before put it back nodding satisfied while thinking head dot dot all according to the plan, with both and Corbinic in their seat rubbing their forehead feeling headache for what Skeeth are planning, Issei. Noticed those that was confused and decided to tell them who was it oh, senior big G was actually great red, those that didn't know except Asia. Wait whattt. A day later, scene change on rainy day at steep road in Kuo, scene showing Issei who was walking heading home while holding an umbrella while his other hand holding some grocery bag, Issei. Hmm. Quite a heavy rain today we got well then I better hurry up, it's about time for dinner when about to walk faster, notice that several empty trash bins sliding past him at high speed and start getting into a trance, but industry baby songs start playing, Xcast. Thinking uh oh could it be? But let's say Volley Drag and Albion shaking their head hoping what they're thinking wouldn't come true, Balsam Childish Xcast Aka Serzich Adanazazal etc grinning and lean forward in their seat in anticipation on what would happen next, scene showing some students of Kuo Academy jaw drops in disbelief while rubbing their eyes after seeing familiar person who was inside of one of several empty trash bin at the front that was sliding down on the steep road at high speed, followed with countless other empty trash bin and holding their umbrella, pointing it forward like a lance while shouting, they say. For the hordee, but most cast already laughing their ass off after seeing what just happened, especially Serzich as is a lot in Bali and Drag. Serzich. Holy shit, that was epic. <laughs> Bali. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Drag. Still chuckling and pat Issei's shoulder trying to console him, but Fay laughter start laughing after remembering the scene with Issei giving him betrayed look sorry Issei but that was funnily stupid as hell <laughs> While Issei harem and his parents struggling hard to hold back their laugh while patting sulking Issei who already covered his face from embarrassment from his other self action, scene change inside of Haidu house, but the other occupant in the house noticed Issei who has small blush was soaking wet while holding a broken umbrella, but Simks cast let out small chuckle knowing what already happened, Asia. Receive the grocery bag from Issei and ask him in concern Issei san, what happened? Issei. Coughing trying to get back his composure oh nothing wrong, just small accident patting Asia head making her blush and notice someone using a shower who's using the shower. Rainer. Came joining the conversation while giving a towel to Issei who use it to wipe himself dry oh it was Bali san, it's been quite a while since he start using the shower. Issei. I see guess I can wait for a while then about to go sit when hearing. Bali. Ouch goddammit that hurts, but everyone else turn looking at the shower puzzled after hearing Volley yelling out in pain, mini flashback start, several moment earlier, scene showing Volley who was in nothing but bath towel, was scrubbing his hair while humming, with the cast instantly using their hands covering the children's eyes, they say. Hands still covering office and Lilith eyes due too much information. Lavinia. Let out small trickle of nosebleed enjoying the show, and unconsciously licking her lips muttering millimeters. Mama likey.
but Bali unconsciously shivering for unknown reasons and start looking around feeling danger. After done washing hair and about reach out for back scrubber and start getting into a trance after grab it and start doing some longsword moves. Sauji. Let out small whistle nice moves. Right after sheathing his sword Bali accidentally slipped on stray soap on the floor ending with. Bali. Ouch goddammit that hurts. Mini flashback ends. With nearly every X cast except Bali who was covering his face in shame, instantly start laughing again. Isay. Laughing with his finger pointing on the screen gahahahaha <laughs> epic fail. Azizel. Oh shit this is gold clutching his stomach from laughing too hard. Albion. Let out teasing grin towards Bali. How about opening a class on how to fall inside the shower Bali. Auden. Getting up excited I second that I'll use my private stash of wealth to make it happen. Serzich. Count me in. Isay. I'll sold all my private stash if it gonna happen. Azizel. I'll provide the venue. But Vali already shrinking in his seat from embarrassment. Vali. Muttering bunch of idiots. Later that night, scene showing Kakabiel getting up from his bed and heading towards the kitchen to get a drink. Kakabiel. Yawning I can't remember when I'm this relaxed. Guess faking my death have it benefits no need to do my part of paperworks. Let out small chuckle wonder if Azazel already got my gift. Scene showing exhausted Azazel that was glued and chained in his seat looking at bunch of paperwork in front of him. Azazel. Turn to Kakabiel furious so that was you. Kakabiel. Let out a smirk guilty as charged how was it doing paperwork was as fun and exhilarating. Azazel. Book your fun and exhilarating because of you I got forced to do paperwork one week straight unable to go to toilet you damn bastard. Let out bunch of profanities in rage and start leaping towards the grinning Kakabiel, chasing him all over the room with everyone else eating popcorn watching free show. But the other leaders shivering in their seat imagining themselves in Azizel position and hope that Kakabiel wouldn't do the same towards them. Both Skeeth mysteriously let out a grin together with an Karbanek in their seat. Shemhazai. Still looking at Azizel who was still chasing Kakabiel. Hey Barakiel. Barakiel. What is it? Shem has I. Should we ask Kakabiel to return back to Grigori to make sure that Azazel always do his paperwork? Erekiel. I think we should I remember we doesn't need to find and drag Azazel back just to do paperwork. Enemu. Joining the conversation I second that I remember when we get a well-deserved rest that week, with Shemhaz I and Barekiel nodding in agreement we need our day. Often Kakabiel can help us making sure Azazel do his paperwork besides start thinking. Well blushing after sneak a glance at Issei, maybe I can try to know him better. While both Barakiel and Shemhazai together with Armro Sahariel and Tamiel let out small smirk after seeing Penemu reaction. Penemu? Notice the smirk what? Barakiel Shemhazai Armro's Tamiel, Sahariel. Nothing with Penemu tilt head puzzled with her colleague's action. But Azazel get back to his seat exhausted while cursing after giving up unable to catch Kakabiel who was grinning. Azazel. Still gasping for breath buck this shit im dot dot out. Back to Kakabiel, but Kakabiel noticed Donacy can sleep where petrified on the spot at the hallway just before kitchen area and goes to him to ask what's wrong. Kakabiel. What's wrong Donaseek? With Donaseek shaking hand slowly point up forward to what he currently looking at with Kakabiel, turn to see what was it that making Donaseek like that making him widen eyes in shock after seeing it. Shiva. Hmm dot dot I wonder what happened making both them shocked like that. Donaseek. Probably, something unexpected. Scene showing Drake who was in full DJ clothes at the front of gas stove, using it as makeshift DJ turntables with lights in the kitchen, constantly turning on and off, but the viewing room instantly booming with laughter after seeing what other Drake just did. Albion. Gwahahahahaha the hell did other you doing Drake? Gahahahahaha start rolling on the floor from laughing too hard. Great Red. Bahahahahaha I knew it, you had it in you Drake. Hahahahaha. Serzich. Seems like we have a DJ now. Hahahahaha. Azazel. Second the do a high five with Serzich. They say. On his knees laughing while clutching his stomach stop, please don't replay the scene, it my stomach can't hold it anymore ahahahahaha. <laughs> Skeeth. No can do a say proceeds to replay the scene making everyone start laughing again. Greg. Covering his face from embarrassment why just why. Meanwhile. Scene change inside of diorama cliff area. Scene showing Albion with countless bamboo cannon in front of him with him, start lit the fuse of every each of them. Skeeth. Never thought this kind of fireworks exist get into a trance after lit the fuse of the last one. Moments later, scene showing Albion who was holding one of the bamboo cannon as a makeshift gun lance doing blast dash, flying over the cliff and woke up from the trance and noticed he's in the middle of the air and was in the line of fire of other bamboo cannon that already shot its ammo. Narrator. Half of a second before impact. Albion. Oh fuck, ooh um, but the industry baby song stopped playing, but Xcast resuming another bout of laughter after seeing other Albion fate. Greg. Holy shit that was awesome gahahahaha <laughs> hand banging on his seat armrest while clutching his stomach from laughing too hard. Ali. Gahahahaha <laughs> take that karma as a bitch. But Albion using his seat pillow covering his face from embarrassment. A day later, they say. Alright then, it's about time we go. Ali. 
Yup been a while since we visit Underworld, Sir Erg. Anyways, thank you you both for agreeing to join the gathering, Razor. Razor know that you both doesn't like doing things related to nobility, I say. Sign well, seeing that Serzich san been nagging for us both to come and visit, but an arrow with word nagging hit Serzich right in the gut, making him feel depressed while Grafia rubbing his back while letting out small chuckle amused with her husband antics, Ollie. It's better if we go now, besides we've been meaning to visit house of you both, Sir Erg. Ho ho, you're right, about time you visit mom been asking for you both, Razor. Haha I agree, father and mother also can't wait for both of you to visit, right Ravel. Ravel. You was same with me, Greg. Anyways me and Albion gonna get inside first, Albion. Yup not interested with politics of what would happen if they know our identities, but both Drag and Albion get inside, boosted gear and divine dividing, I say. Turn to others alright then, about time for us to go, Kakabiel, please take of everyone during our departure, Kakabiel. Nodding no problem you can leave it to me, Iku. Thinking about it that other essay has quite a strong force, Arthur. Yeah he has someone about as powerful capable to be put into top 10 strongest in his group he can rest easy, knowing that Kakabiel san can't protect them, don't seek. Take care essay san bali san, Halwiner. Please be careful out there, middled. We will be waiting, trainer. Have safe travels essay kun, bali san, Asia. Please take care essay san, bali san, essay. Sure we will, Ali. See you we will bring some souvenir, with everyone waving between each other before Issei Vali, Sererg, Razor and Ravel leave towards Underworld, screen close, with everyone else in the room getting up stretching, Skeeth. Alright we gotta go now you guys do your thing together with, and Korbanek leave the house and teleport to nowhere, Serzich. So it's about time, Ajuka. I wonder what would happen during the gathering. Odin. Especially with Loki sighing while Baldur Thor and Viderpad is back as sign of comfort, Issei. Finished stretching man I'm famished, I'm gonna head towards the kitchen, anyone want some food? But everyone else brought their hand up making a say chuckle and leave towards the kitchen. Ep 28 small talk and gathering of youthful devils, scene changed Keith house kitchen area, scene showing Xcast was chatting with each other while enjoying their food courtesy of a say, the cabiel. Wiping his mouth with tissue mmm, this is quite nice, been a while since I eat good food like this, Azizel. Drinking some lemonade haha indeed quite a shame that we didn't manage to bring him to Grigori first, such a shame that those four got infected with those things frowning while shivering remembering about Aida, Enemu. Nodding serious you're right, it's unfortunate for four of them to fall victim with such things, Serzich. Joining the conversation anyways, anyone else been curious about other essay and volley teacher? But other Xcast turned to Serzich interested with what he's saying, Michael. Serzich Dono is right we already quite far with a viewing though, and their teacher haven't made any appearance yet, Odin. He's right, anyway let's not think much about it, I got a feeling that they will mention their teacher a bit in this viewing, Gabriel. I wonder what kind of person he is, Seraphal. Well let's not think much about it, let's clean the dishes first, Issei Chan let me help you, Issei. Ooth thank you see Chan, Rainer. And me too, with other members of the harem rushing to help Issei doing the dishes with other Xcast chuckle seeing their antics, Lady Citri. Well, I'm glad that Seraphal and Sona finally found their significant other, Lady Phoenix. Chuckle few for your right, I'm also happy for Ravel, Mickey. Let's not forget our future grandbabies grinning with their eyes shining together with Lady Citri and Lady Phoenix, and Alana. I really failed as a mother. Sighing softly with Zioticus patting her back as sign of support thank you dear, really wish that Riaz doesn't make such decision now, I can't see more future grandbabies sulking while feeling disappointed with Riaz, Zioticus. It's okay dear I know what you're thinking even I'm disappointed that Rias makes such choices we truly has been spoiling her too much sighing a little. While in distance Barakiel also seemed comforting a disappointed Shuri. Rafia. It also my fault too for not educator better we let her off the hook too many times to count. Serzich. Put his hand on Grafia's shoulder the fault also lies with me, too dear but seems like she already realizing her mistake and trying to better herself anyways let's go to viewing room, scene changed Keith house viewing room, but the cast already in their seat while the children still munching on popcorn waiting, Issei. Hmm I'm kinda worried. Greg. What is it Issei, Issei. Looking at office Lilith Kunu and Milikas that was munching on their popcorn happily they've been munching those popcorn for quite a while, I'm worried for their teeth, what if they get toothache? With every parent realizing that Issei is right, Skeeth. Came inside the room from the door for your question no need to worry Issei I already enchant those popcorn bucket so that any popcorn it produces won't harm the teeth but keep it healthy and also give all the needed supplement and vitamin for the consumer so all of you doesn't need to worry if they will get sick from overconsumption with every parent let out breath of relief. Bali. Hmm. Where is San and Carbonic San? Albion. Both of them are not with you today. Skeeth. 
Oh, those two have something to do for a time being, they will join us at later date. Scene change Devil Artemis Universe. Scene showing both and Corbinic together with Cell Kermit and Shallot with a pitchfork in their hand, drinking some Gatorade resting a bit while watching Zarbon, torturing scarring the cheaters for life. Ah that hit the spot. Corbinic. Nothing beats sports drink after strenuous exercise nodding. Shallot. Glad I came back visiting you guys not gonna miss torturing those bastards, giving hated look at the cheaters. Kermit. Anyways J A M E S P A T R I C K B U E Z A 6 and J V E N O M 10 going back to their realm for a while do you think they will join us later? Cell. Hm I hope so, those two are great people to hang around with, let out a smirk anyways I got a perfect idea. What is it? Cell. I'm gonna call Rashi brought out his phone grinning savagely with others doing the same. Corbinic. Brilliant call him, but Cell start calling a familiar number. Scene showing Rashi telling the Madagascar penguins the tale of Kuchi War. Rashi. Anyways as I was saying stop after noticing his phone ringing and answering the call the buck you want sell. Sell. We got a situation here start telling what happened, well Rashi start giving disgusted look after hearing more about it. Rashi. I see. Hang up his call and turn to the Madagascar penguins boys, we got a mission to do turn to leave heading to sell location. But the Madagascar penguins giving a salute and start following Rashi. Back to Skeeth and Xcast. Skeeth. Remembering what happened and let out a shrug anyways you guys ready. Saji. Yes we are with other Xcast giving a nod making Skeeth go to his seat and brought his remote pointing at the screen. Britra. Ha I wonder what will happen next, I got a feeling that it would be amusing for this viewing. Skeeth. Anyways before I forgot snap his fingers making the same popcorn bucket appear to every Xcast hands, making them start munching the popcorns as you all already know, those popcorn can change to any flavor you all want without further ado, time for us to begin with the viewing folks with everyone waiting in their seat in anticipation, screen open, scene change hallway heading towards the gathering of youthful devils banquet hall, scene showing that Issei Vali Serer Grazer and Ravel appear from the portal and start walking towards banquet hall, Issei. Cracking his neck while sighing never thought that I would get involved with thing related to nobility huh? Ollie. Shrugs welp it can't be helped not like we can hide forever it was bound to happen eventually. Sererg. Haha <laughs> anyways part of me kinda glad because both me and Razor no longer have to bring you both to visit our home secretly anymore with Razor nodding in agreement. Razor. Sererg right. Honestly it was a hassle trying to make secret pathway to bring you both for a visit. Razor really glad that Bali makes such technique to make us smuggling you both to underworld easier. Ravel. Sweat drops while talking accurately remembering the first time she see Vali use the mention technique to visit Underworld, ahaha dot dot ani sama are right. Serzic. Scratching his chin hum, seems like both Sererg and Razor over there was more playful than ours, guess their time in university with Issei and Vali influenced them to be like that. Vali. I'm more interested what technique that other me create. Albion. Well we can just wait, your other self will probably show it in the future. Issei. Anyways how is your mother together with Ruval and parents health Sererg, Razor. Sererg. Brighten up oh mother getting more healthy now. Razor. Smiling yeah, they are also in good health. Issei. Let out small smile well, send them both me and Vali regards with Vali nodding in agreement. Vali. By the way tell them we gonna visit them after we finish with this gathering thing making some air quotes. Auden. Sweat drops gathering thing huh. Roswis. This other Vali sand is too carefree to care sweat drops. Razor. Notice that Ravel was in deep thought what's wrong Ravel. Ravel. Snap out of her thoughts oh oh, nothing wrong on Isama just that I'm still curious about that that both you and Sererg Sama mentioned before. Sererg. About that huh, I'm still feeling overwhelmed when thinking about it you really don't want that thing weapon pointing to your way together with Razor shivering thinking about it. Razor. Nodding yeah even Razor never thought such thing exists if Razor are right it was around 472 meters in length and 316 meters in height, Razor never thought such thing was quite nimble, despite its size when it used that form, but Ravel already jaw drops hearing about it and turned to amuse Issei and Vali. Issei. Well it was more like a ship actually some kind of relic that the teacher of us both found before. Greg. More like a spaceship and dot dot I still can't fathom how the heck the teacher of you both found it. Well Skeeth whistling innocently in his seat. Vali. You know what to say how about we bring them for a ride at later date. Albion. Hey the others would be surprised when they see it. Issei. Pondering about it before nodding smiling a bit well guess we have a plan then, Sererg. You can bring your mother and entire peerage to join us for the trip same with your razor. Bring your family and your peerage too, we'll tell you both when it is at later date. But Sererg and razor do small fist pump feeling excited about it. Issei. Sue it was a ship like Ryudamaru. Iku. Forget about that don't you guys hear how big its size it is. Surtur second. Who, this is interesting I would love to see how it would looks like. Razor. A spaceship huh but what other Razor mean in that form. But the Xcast turned to Skeeth only to sweat drops after C he brought out a sign with word spoilers written on it. Ravel. Still. 
Isse san. Isse. Hum. What is it, Ravel? Ravel. Actually, I've wondering what kind of person it is the teacher of you both with both Razor and Sererg. Turn to Isse and Bali interested with the topic. Ali. Our teacher ha him how should I spell it pondering on how to talk about it, guess we can tell a little bit, Isse. Well, he's kind of dork with people, and a little jaded with everything he also doesn't think he himself is a hero, even if his actions prove otherwise, he's more like an anti-hero, actually giving worried look, Bali. Yeah, he's quite selfless, especially saving those in need remembering the time when both he and Issei following their teacher saving those they could in Nekashu massacre incident but the screen briefly changed showing younger Issei and Bali in mass following a tall figure saving most of Nekashu clan, bringing them to safety and pushing back the incoming devils but the four Satan hanging their head down feeling ashamed with themselves for letting the incident happen by not investigating it properly. Back to present, Issei. Sweat drops he also has weird tendencies of finding things that was stupidly useful. Bali. Nodding especially that technique I never thought such kind of technique exist me say Drag and Albion have been continuously using it till this day. Drag. Whoever that make that technique is a genius. Albion. That technique is such a godsend for us men. But every past possessor inside of boosted gear and divine dividing nodding sagely in agreement especially the males while the females rolling their eyes seeing the males antics. While Sererg, Razor and Ravel feeling curious what kind of technique it is with Sererg decided to ask. Sererg. What kind of technique it is and what is the name of the technique. But both Issei and Bali nodding between each other and say it with serious face insert serious Jojo face expression. Issei and Bali. It's called anti-shotgun marriage technique. But Sererg, Razor and Ravel giving shocked expression hearing that. But the X cast also make the same expression while shouting with Skeeth already covered his ears in advance. X cast. Nini. Serzich. Such technique exist. Azizel. The creator of the technique is such a brilliant person I wish to become their apprentice. Auden. Count me in. Pow cow. The creator of the technique is a heroes for US men. Saji. He's a heroes among heroes. Issei. You're wrong. Ali. He's not just a mere heroes. Greg. He's a god. Albion. A god among US men. Britra. For US to worship. Great. I think I just found a religion to join and a god to serve now let out move tears. Well nearly every male of X cast that already fall to their knees in awe of the technique also let out a move tears like Great Red. Meanwhile with a female of X cast sweat drops seeing the men of X cast antics. Well Skeeth coughing mysteriously well thinking. Skeeth. Hmm. Should I teach them that technique? But Sarah Erg and Razor already fall to their knees in awe and weakly asked. S-A-I-R-A-O-R-G and Razor. C could W we unworthy peasants learn as such glorious technique your majesty. But both Issei and Bali brought up Sererg and Razor with kind face and aura of Buddha came out of nowhere shining behind them, both making Ravel cover her face from sudden light. Issei. You both are friend of us, Ali. Of course we would teach you both. But both Sererg and Razor let out moved tears feeling grateful to learn such technique. After a while with both Sererg and Razor finally regain their composure and the group resume walking heading towards their destination. Issei. Well ignoring what happened just now, let's continue our topic, Ali. He also has some kind of special sense that will trigger most of time to protect him against something I won't say it for now you all will understand what it is, when you see it it was kind of funny when it happened, Issei. Nah I won't say it as special sense it's more likely some kind of cosmic force actually, with Vali nodding in agreement, Ali. Another thing is, about our teacher, he's surprisingly innocent with certain things on doesn't know. Shaking his head no that wasn't it, what was the word again? Razor. Oblivious. Ali. Snap his fingers that's right he's totally oblivious, even if it was shoved right to his face, lastly he's totally. Issei and Bali. With blank face dense denser than black hole itself his denseness is beyond saving already, teacher already lost cause shaking their heads with pity. With Drag Albion together with past possessor in boosted gear and divine dividing nodding in agreement, while Sererg, Razor and Ravel dumbfounded hearing that, Issei. With blank face yeah, there this time when a demon succubus tried to seduce our teacher to lower his guard, where she literally show her entrance of reproductive organs right to teach her face. Well a certain song start playing. Ollie. Guess what he totally didn't understand what the succubus was doing and thought that the succubus was attacking him, result. The succubus already turned to ash remembering the time their teacher throw out Kai Blast to the succubus, turning the succubus to ash, thinking it was trying to attack him. Sigma Rule 99. If no mercy to thoughts. Song stop playing. X cast. Thinking how brutal. Skeeth. Shut out proud tear wiping it I'm so proud. But Sarah or Grazer and Ravel jaw drops hearing that before regain their composure moving towards the banquet hall silently leading Issei and Bali. Issei. Sweat drops guess they still shocked huh? Bali. 
who wouldn't even we are speechless when seeing that happens. But the group finally arrive at the door of the banquet hall and open the door getting inside making every head turn to who it was, while most female devil blushing red after seeing both Issei and Vali and looking at them with lust. But Lavinia Ria's Akeno and Issei harem together with those that like Issei having their eye twitching seeing those hussies. But Sir Zich and Grafia approaching the group. Sir Erg. Well, guys, I'll go to meet with my peerage first leaves while waving back to Issei and Vali. Sir Erg. Hmm. Seeing that Sir Zichsama was here earlier the brief scuffle didn't happen huh? Balsigvara coughing acridly remembering what happened and feeling thankful that Sir Zich wasn't present earlier in their world. Sir Zich. Hmm seems like the young devil gathering get pushed back to be able to meet Issei and Vali probably. Razor. Same with Razor and Ravel leave together with Ravel, with both of them also waving back to Issei and Vali. Sir Zich. Seems like both of our esteemed guests finally arrived, thank you for willing to join us for this occasion Issei San Vali San shaking his hand with both of them, Issei. It's alright, both me and Vali already finished with our own trip, Vali. And coincidentally the date of this event was just after our trip and we was about to visit their house point with his thumb to Sererg and Razor group guess it wouldn't hurt to attend this event, Rafia. I wish both of your trip have been well, Issei San Vali San, but both Issei and Vali acridly replying making Serzich and Grafia puzzled, but decided not to ask feeling it was bad move, Issei. Why dot dot it is, Vali. V very well indeed. But both of them together with Drag and Albion remembering their time in the other world, especially with the beating they got from Rajang, making them hold back a shiver. While other unfortunates cast shivering having flashback from their accursed dream, while Riaz and Sona together with their peerage came joining the conversation. Riaz. Issei sensei you came nice to meet you Vali san. Akeno. How are you sensei? Vali san giving a bow. Sona. I hope you've been well Issei sensei Vali san give a bow. Issei. I'm good while well, Vali giving a nod replying to them anyways did everyone already finish their homework yet? But Riaz and Sona together with their peerage giving a nod. Riaz. Um sensei if you don't mind, will you come to visit my house later after this? Sona. Why yeah if you also don't mind, will you come to visit my house too? Akeno. Yufufu seems like both Ria's Sama and Sona Sama desperately wishing if you would come visit their house and say looking at Issei with a hint of affection. Serafal. A w w w w you look so cute so Chan hugging Sona so hard making her turn blue, while desperately tapping Serafal hands to let go, while Issei struggling to pull Serafal off. Serzich. This is going to our family album together with Ziodicus continuously taking a picture making Rias cover her red face from embarrassment, while Grafia and Benelana rubbing their forehead from their husband antics. While Vali just eating popcorn he brought out from nowhere watching the drama unfolding before him. While with Serafal about to join the group conversation, but stop after noticing Sona expression and let out loud squeal, startling Sona who was unable to react and getting bear hug from Serafal, with everyone else sweat drops after watching what just happened. They say. Sighing well guess it can't be helped I will visit house of you both after I'm done visiting Razor and Sarah Erg house but you both don't mind if Vali following me too to visit. But both Riaz and Sona brighten up knowing man of there are gonna visit their house and shaking their heads, signaling that they don't mind if Vali tagging along too. Well Serzich already grinning can't wait for Issei to visit their house. Meanwhile other male devils looking at Issei in jealousy for getting the attention of beauties like Riaz, Akeno and Sona all for himself. Serzich. Well, guess I'm gonna go now to get ready have fun, then everyone leave followed with Grafia who already gives small bow in advance. Azazel. Let out small chuckle kinda ironic that the situation have become reversed with other cast nodding in agreement. Rias. Oh I nearly forgot, someone want to talk to you both Gasper come forward pushing nervous Gasper forward. Gasper. And nice to meet you my my name is Gasper and thank you for saving me back then give deep bow. Issei. Oh, you're the one from back then, you're welcome how are you right now? Gasper. I'm alright, thank you for asking me. Ollie. Been curious why are you are dressed in women clothes. Asper. I because I like cute things. Issei. I see well everyone have their own preference, I'm not gonna judge sweat drops after remembering his meeting with Ivankov. Ollie. Indeed, everyone have things that they like besides it not gonna bring harm to others, remembering when both he and Issei together with Strawats visiting Kamabaka Kingdom and shivering feeling glad that Ivankov didn't try to turn both Issei and him into woman. While both Drag and Albion together with past male possessor shivering remembering the Issei and Vali experience in Kamabaka Kingdom and feeling glad that they decided stay inside the boosted gear and divine dividing the whole time and feel nothing but respect to Sanji for having managed to keep his own sanity for staying in hell for two whole years straight. Edraig and Albion. Everyone pressed the F button for respect for Sanji San snap their fingers making button with F word appear before every past male possessor and push the button followed with the past male possessor while other female possessor sweat drops watching their antics. Xcastex has stopped rebooting. Bull Skeeth already chuckling in his seat after seeing Xcast expression. Skeeth. 
Well I won't tell you guys about the place, and the person other is say and volley thinking about for your own sanity, with its cast weakly nodded, not bothering to argue, but Gasper give a say and volley look of awe, seeing that they doesn't mock him from being all girly, and like cute things. A while later with Seraph will leave the group joining other Satan to get ready. A while later after the young devils meeting with higher up with everyone about to head home, they say. So. Sarah or Grazer, I've been told that the devil higher ups been asking young devils about what they are planning to become in future what do you both want to be? Sarah Smirk he, I'm planning to become a Satan. Razor. Also giving a smirk he same with Razor both of us plan to become one of four great Satan in the future. Ollie. Who oh interesting, go for it you two, both me and Issei are rooting for you both. Issei. I believe you both can't succeed go for it you two together with Vali give thumbs up to Sarah Erg and Razor, with them giving thankful nod for the support. Both Sarah Erg and Razor turn to each other, giving challenging smirk. Sarah Erg. Eh who interesting seems like other you also aim big her Razor. Razor. Heh, guess other Razor also aim the same point to the screen especially at his other self, just you wait other Razor Razor will catch up with you soon. Say. Interesting Razor, wanna go do some training together with me later. Razor. Crack in his knuckles as you wish, it's time to do serious training to achieve Razor Dream. Ravel. I believe you can do Ani Sama. Ravel. I know you can do it brother, work hard give thumbs up. Well both Lady and Lord Phoenix shed proud tear seeing Razor already grown up. Sikfera. Um Riaz who are those two? Noticed Riaz was in trance giving mesmerized look at his areas. Riaz. Snapped out from her trance why yes. What is it Sikfera? Sikfera. Give small pout I told you already call me Si Chan with Ria's blushing red embarrassed anyway who are those two, both of them seems they already know Sarayarg San and Razor San, pointing to Issei and Vali, who was talking with Sarayarg and Razor, Ria's. Oh it was Issei Haidu Sensei and his older brother Vali Haidu San, Sikfera. Tilt head puzzled Sensei. But he looks around the same age like us, Sona. Joining the conversation oh indeed sensei is actually he and his brother skipped grades during their study at university in America both of them are also roommates with Sarah Erg San and Razor San when they both also gone studying in university in America during their stay in human world, giving side glances at Issei, Riaz. And Issei sensei came back to his hometown in Kuo this year and become a teacher at Kuo Academy where both me and Sona are attending, Sikfera. I see turn looking at Issei while thinking well guess I can understand a little why Riaz and Sona are mesmerized with him. He's quite handsome though. Blushing a little realizing what she just thought wait. What I'm thinking just now. Screen close. Meanwhile with some other guys giving teasing grin to blushing Sikfera who already covering her face from embarrassment while Issei open mouth speechless from what he just heard while his harem pouting a little upset feeling that there will be more in the future. Greg. Bahahahaha I knew you had it in you Issei together with Great Red, proudly patting Issei's shoulder. Sarah Erg. Hahahaha I knew it, where Issei is the only one that would be able break the Ice Queen barrier. But Sikvera blushing harder and get up from her seat and hurriedly leave towards her room. While Ria's feeling disheartened seeing how her childhood friend has an interest to Issei while lamenting her immature decision back then. Skeeth. Get up stretching while I got somewhere to go take a rest everyone leave the house before teleporting. Bulk's cast also decided to hit the hate arrest. Ep 29 beginning of the visit and encouragement. Scene change Keith domain outside of Ritsuka house. Scene showing Skeeth appear out of nowhere and let out a satisfied smile. While well, secretly do a fist pump after notice that both Olga and Ritsuka was sitting side by side at small bench. While holding their hand together enjoying the sunset with Olga head on Ritsuka's shoulder. But Skeeth let out small chuckle feeling satisfied with their progress and leave using in instant transmission heading towards Romani Energy Signature who coincidentally together with Shiru and the others seen change outside of Shiru house. But Skeeth appear only to sweat drops after noticing that Romani was completely engrossed with building a deck for himself under guidance of Shiru and Zaref with Peter was just watching while shuffling his own deck in meantime. Skeeth. Wasp everyone with others turned to Skeeth returning their own greetings. Romani. Oh Skeeth send what bring you here. Skeeth. Oh just came checking on you after see both Ritsuka and Olga enjoying their date so. How's it going discreetly point at Ramani gloved hand that hit all of his ten rings. Ramani. Noticed where Skeeth are pointing ah dot dot it was a shock at first but I already get used to it never thought I will get it back after I returned it. Skeeth. Well, don't think much about it you need as much firepower as you can the big guy owe me a favor after all. Anyway you don't need to worry I already make sure that Throne of Heroes would be unable record you back and same with you Shiru not even Guy Alaya and Throne of Heroes can get you back give satisfied grin with both Romani and Shiru, let out small breath of relief hearing that, Shiru. I'm still thankful though that you help freeing me and my other self from Alaya grasp Skeeth San, give thankful nod to Skeeth, Skeeth. Shrugs no harm done just a small matter anyways, and you deserve it by the way, Zeref Peter you guys been well. Zeref. 
Rub back of his head chuckling sheepishly. I'm good ski sen I was around the area taking a walk and noticed that Shiru sen been teaching Romani sen about dual monsters and decided to join too. Peter. Just same case like MR.0 if you're anyways MR. Skeeth when the new booster pack gonna be released, next I heard there's new summoning method called Synchro Summon, would be released together with the booster pack too. But Shiru, Zeref and Peter looking at Skeeth with expectations about new summoning method, while Romani tilt his head confused, making Skeeth chuckle amused. Skeeth. Hahaha <laughs> it will be released after the next tournament so get ready and keep dueling with others to collect dual points to buy the booster packs and build up your decks, everyone maybe one of you can dethrone either and become the next king of duelist but who knows what would happen in the future, looking at Shiru who let out a grin of excitement for revenge and also a new way of dueling that will release together with the synchro summon too. But Zeref and Peter also let out excited grin can't wait for the tournament, especially after hearing the news about new way of dueling. Romani. Chuckle well guess I'll also try to join with the tournament, seeing how you guys getting worked up over it and never thought that such device exist getting up and activate his dual disc Shiru and care for practice duel with this newbie here. I'm gonna try testing with my new built up deck, Shiru. HMPH thought you're not gonna ask, anyway you'll go first getting up with a smirk and do backflip jump making considerable distance before activating his dual disc, SHIRU and Ramani. Duel, Ramani or no turn draw, but Zeref and Peter taking their seat to enjoy the duel and brought out popcorn eating it, Skeeth. Chuckle well you guys enjoy yourself, I'm gonna check out my guests leave to his house waving while teleporting with Peter and Zeref also return their waves, Peter. Brought out his deck inspecting it man I can't wait for the tournament, Zeref. Chuckle same with me, never thought that I got a second chance to enjoy life, I'm really thankful that Skeeth sent together with San and Corbinic San, save all of us with Peter nodding in agreement, Peter. Well dot dot no use thinking about the past, let's focus on the present let out small whistle impressed that Romani managed to reduce Shiru life points by 1000 on first turn, scene change Skeeth house viewing room, scene show Skeeth who just opened the door to the and noticed that Xcast was chatting with each other before greeting them, Skeeth. Yo everyone how's it going? They say. Oh we're good Skeeth san how are you? Skeeth. Chuckle I'm good, anyone ready for next viewing? With Xcast nodding making Skeeth chuckle before getting to his seat and point the remote to the screen. Screen open. Scene change Phoenix household. Scene showing Issei and Vali together with Sarayarg his peerage and Miss La was enjoying their dinner together with Phoenix family. Lady Phoenix. Fufu, seems like you are getting healthier Miss La San, I'm glad for you let out kind smile. Miss La. Ara thank you Lady Phoenix, also thank you for inviting me and my son for dinner. Lord Phoenix. Chuckle haha it's alright you are dear friend to us, and both of our son are friend together I never thought both of them would coincidentally become a roommate, together with Issei Khan and Vali Khan here and I'm glad for that, Erval. Ah I remember when Razor throw small tantrum not wanting to go studying at university remembering when Razor throwing a fit not wanting to go I still can't believe how much he changed for the better after meeting them together with Ravel Lord and Lady Phoenix chuckling, remembering how shocked they are after seeing how polite Razor was when he returned home for semester break compared to how he was before, Razor. Oh come on sure Razor was bad before but surely it wasn't that bad right? With Ruval Ravel Lord and Lady Phoenix turned to side avoiding the question making Razor let out small pout, making his harem let out small nosebleed from Razor unexpected expression. While Razor harem instantly blushing red while feeling wet between their knees after seeing Razor and the screen expression before turning to their own Razor looking at him intently while licking their own lips with desire. Razor. G girls. Gulping down saliva nervously after seeing their expression and start getting afraid after seeing how they had already start drooling. While most cast cast especially the males giving Razor look of pity. The males. Thinking while well, wishing Razor luck may your harem have mercy with your magnum and hips tonight young man. Skeeth. Chuckle silently while thinking well. Guess I'm gonna make their room soundproofed, then snap his finger making Razor room soundproofed. Sererg. Patting sulking Razor shoulder while laughing ha 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 I still remember how arrogant he act back then when I first meet him, guess meeting with Issei and Vali has mellowed him out. Vali. Chuckle well more like getting humbled actually. Razor. Throw hands up in exasperation oh come on don't remind Razor about that incident, Razor admit that Razor was being pompous jerk before okay. While everyone else chuckling seeing how flustered Razor was from being teased, Issei. Anyways anything noteworthy currently happening right now. Eating chiffon cake baked by Ravel him you're getting better at baking Ravel I love it with Ravel brighten up blushing red hearing the praise. Ravel. Still blushing well actually Ria Sama and Sona Sama are gonna have a duel in raiding game soon both of them, together with their peerage are training for their upcoming raiding game today they if I'm heard, they're about to return home after finishing with their training. Issei. Hawaii. Sererg. 
while all those other roll his eyes higher ups except Lucifer Sama Leviathan Sama, Beelzebub Sama and Asmod Sama, deem that Sona dream are laughable and impossible to achieve, while thinking it was foolish to do so so Mao Samas, decided that the rating game between them both will be held in exchange for the exhibition match between other young devils, as they originally intended to shut them up, but Seraph lie twitching remembering how those old bats laughing at her so Chan dream, is say. Not gonna lie bro but it would be unfair to others if both you and Razor participate in the exhibition match, Bali. Yeah, considering that both of you are already in peak ultimate class devil in power at base with both Razor and Sarah are grubbing back of their head sheepishly after being pointed out how strong they are currently, they say. Not to mention that every peerage members of you both was at least high class devil in power at least, and some already reach ultimate class devil, already with them chuckle sheepishly after get pointed out, especially those that already reached ultimate class devil in power, stand proud from the praise of Red Dragon Emperor. While Sarah Erg and Razor peerage members are flabbergasted at first hearing how strong their counterparts are before start grinning, bowing to train hard to become strong like them. Ollie. Oh, speaking off what is her dream then? Razor. Well she intended to open raiding game school for low class devil to attend, but this ain't Bali giving brah. Are you serious? Look, but Sona start feeling disheartened thinking that other Issei deem her dream is foolish too, while well, Issei hugs Sona to reassure her that it wasn't the case. Issei. Come on Sona, I'm sure other me thinking that your dream is admirable, Sona. Why you think so Issei-kun? Issei. Nodding while giving a grin yeah I sure he is, Sir Afal appear from their back and do group hug with startled Issei, and so now thank you Issei-chan for cheering up So-chan, while Riaz who was watching from her seat shaking her head crushing down the feeling of jealousy, Riaz. Thinking while giving pain smile no Riaz you already blow off your chance you should be happy for them, instead of being jealous dot dot if Sona can do that for me why can't I do the same for Sona, right? Issei. Are those higher up serious? And just, coughing pardon my language, being dumbass. Don't they realize that devil's population are low compared to before her dream is admirable, though you could say that a dream are main foundation to build up devil society, what's wrong with with them? There's a limit of being blinded by pride, they're acting like a freaking stuck up nobles from cultivation man who of all things, Bali. Oh come on man I was gonna say that to you stole my speech dude, shaking head anyway if those higher ups keeping things like this, I'm not surprised that stray devils keep popping up non-stop from being treated like that sighing and disappointment sheesh. I'm glad that no one else except you all know my actual heritage, giving grateful nod to Phoenix family, together with Miss La Sereerg and Sereerg peerage with them returning the gesture. Ali. On my counterpart's behalf thanks for keeping my other self heritage secret you all, Sereerg. Give thumbs up no problem a bros always look out for their fellow bros, Razor. Indeed, Razor can agree with it a true bros always respect the bro code nodding sagely with other men following suit, while the female sweat drops seeing the male's antics, Issei. Wiping his mouth after done eating before getting up well, guess it's about time to visit the Gremories first then the Citries before the raiding game, Ollie. Chuckle while thinking he is expected from you brother, only you can make girls fall head over heels for you, I'm so proud wiping imaginary tear, with Drag and Albion together with past possessor also do the same, Lord Phoenix. Well, let us send you both off, Sirzich. Well, guess it's about time for our other self turn to show up, Milikas. I hope that other uncle is say impression of me is good, with Grafia patting her son head to reassure him, Grafia. I'm sure he will Milikas, seen change outside of Phoenix household, is say. Well thank you for giving us this to make travel easier, brought up two teleportation scroll for Grimory and Citri household, Lady Phoenix. Fufu, it's alright Issei San please take care, Ravel. Yeah, take care of yourself Issei Kun start blushing furiously after getting head pat from Issei, and start enjoying it after Issei start ruffling her hair, with everyone else chuckling seeing how happy Ravel is, Ali. Alright then, about time to go then Issei, with Ravel pouting a little bit after getting denied from her headpat sending small glare to Vali, while Issei unconsciously start patting Ravel head making her blushing red before enjoying it while other harem members pouting a little jealous wanting headpat too, the guys. Thinking smooth, gotta try that later. But Issei activating one of the scrolls teleporting both him and Vali to Gremory household, seen change outside of Gremory household, seen showing Gremory peerage who just reunited after their training while talking with Azazel, are startled seeing Phoenix family transportation circle appear before their eyes, showing both Issei and Vali came out of it, Gremory peerage. Issei sensei, Vali san, but both Riaz and Akeno tried to make themselves as presentable as possible, Ali. Do finger salute yo, Issei. Wasap, how's everyone waves, Riaz. We're good sensei thank you for visiting us, Issei. Heard that both you and Sona are gonna have a raiding game duel soon so us, both gonna come visit you all first before Sona's before it started, Udo. Give polite bow thank you sensei, Issei. Chuckle you're welcome, seems like all of you been training hard notice that Kaneko wasn't present him. Where's Taoju-san? Say. 
Kinda funny that our last name are coincidentally the same giggle. Tobio. Yeah, when I heard it the first time I thought that both of you are distant relative. Suzaku. Guess coincidence works in mysterious way. Azizel. Sighing she pushed herself past her limits from the training schedule I assigned her, she's currently resting now. Rias. She's been down since the battle with Kakabiel and think that she's a weak link in my peerage I can't believe that I overlooked it, I'm a failure as as a king sighing feeling a little depressed. Issei. Goes to her patting Rhea's head making her blushing red from unexpected contact, while Lakeno pouting seeing it happen feeling little jealous alright no need to blame yourself no one is perfect what matter is to learn from your mistakes and use the experience for the future. Rhea's. Nodding happily yes sensei. Azizel. Scratching back of his head sighing a bit well it was because that she's afraid of her own power and heritage she refused to accept because of what happened in the past, with Akeno frowning a little hearing that. Ali. Ray's eyebrows was it about her Nekashu heritage and Senjutsu. With everyone else except Azazel and Issei turned to Vali in shock. Issei. Probably the case I think, she's probably been traumatized from the Nekashu massacre incident and refused to use her Yaokai power and Senjutsu from the case. Azazel. Chuckle seems like you both already sense her actual heritage, I'm curious how you both can guess. With Gremory Peerage nodding interested while Akeno feel worried that her actual heritage already been discovered, while in nearby corner showing Kaneko who was hiding hearing the conversation, let out small gasp, without realizing that Azazel Issei and Bali already sense her presence from the start. Bali. Shrugs we already met our fair share of surviving Nekashu before back then her energy signature feel the same and also the rumor that using Senjutsu can bring themselves to insanity, remembering the Nekashu rescue operation from back then, and sweat drops remembering other lovestruck Nekashu that was already been saved, especially the thirsty single mothers that tried to repay the favor to his teacher but unfortunately failed all the time thanks to his teacher denseness and unknown variables that always get in the way man I never thought I ever seen women's fail badly trying to woo and seduce a man. Albion. Talking with Vali well what to expect the guy was total dense even I'm speechless when see that happen but X cast sweat drops hearing that Azizel. Okay how dense is their teacher is. Shiva. And what does he mean unknown variables? Issei. Shrugs what I can say is, pardon my language that rumor is total bullshit though. But Grimmery peerage widen eyes in shock, especially Kaneko who was in hiding. Issei. Those Nekashu we meet before actually has a mastery over Senjutsu, and they're still sane, there's no trace of insanity at all, besides thing about power, technique and ability who said that a dangerous power can hurt others, and protective power can protect people in the end, it's up to the user to use their power to do evil or good they're this tale of a person that chose to learn power that can turn themselves into a demon, that capable to destroy the world but he brace through the hardship learning it, just for the sake to save the world and those he he hold dear, besides no matter how hard you tried to hide the part you dislike and that you are still yourself. It's all that matters. But Grimory Peerage and Kaneko rendered speechless hearing that with Kaneko started to give determined look without shred of doubt in her eyes. Greg. Heifer a brat that was only 10 years old he sure got the spirit and drive worthy to be respected. Issei. Isn't that right? Kaneko. Turn to where Kaneko been hiding with Grimory Peerage shock didn't realize that Kaneko has been here all the time. Kaneko. Came out from her hiding place with her cat ears and tail come out ya. Yeah. You're right sensei I won't run anymore from my past, it's time for me to accept myself for who I are. Issei. Goes to Kaneko patting her head making her blush, I'm not really sure what happened that make you scared of your heritage and Senjutsu but it's time to face the past, finding the truth of what actually happened and accept it. S L R R R R R R R R R P P P P P P P. With everyone turned to where the sound come from, only give blank face. While some sweat drop seeing Bali, who was sitting on a plastic chair wearing 3D glasses, drinking monster drink. Bali, oh, never mind me. Just continue. Brought out popcorn bucket out of nowhere and start eating it. Say, Fasipamur, did you really have to ruin the atmosphere, Bali? Bali, getting up with a grin before put back the chair on his dimensional storage. What do you think? That's what I'm best at. Issei. Whatever well we already dragging long enough let's go then everyone Rias do you mind showing the way? This my first time visiting your house so I don't know where to go. Rias. Oh let me and Akeno show you the way sensei. Akeno. RR this way sensei. Azizel. Chuckle alright you all do your thing I got somewhere to go lead via transportation magic circle. Udo. Rias sama I and Gasper will go to make herself presentable first make a polite bow before leaving with Gasper. Zenovia. Same with me leaves. Kaneko. Me too nodding before leaving while sneakily sent a glance on Issei back while thinking and let out small blush thank you sensei. While with Vali who shaking his head amused with knowing grin decided to follow. Vali. Hey only you brother that can do this without realizing it, I'm so proud. Issei. Thinking I already do what I can now it's up to you Kuroka. Kuroka. Go to Issei kissing his cheek, making him blush thank you Issei-chan Naya. Issei. 
He, you're welcome Kuroka. While with Akeno on the back following Rias and Issei are still in deep thought thinking. Akeno. Accepting myself face the past finding the truth and in the end I'm still myself and that's all that matter huh. Screen close. Skeeth. Getting up stretching well I got somewhere else to go you guys take a rest or enjoy yourself see you leave the house before teleporting somewhere. Issei. Scratch head him. Seems like Skeeth san in a hurry shrugs well not my place to intrude getting up and leave to bathroom. Serzich. Well well so next viewing is about visiting us I see. Benalana. I can't to see it. Zioticus. Same with me dear. Auden. Getting up yawning seems like it's already late, I'm gonna go to sleep. But Simk's cast also start leaving to their room. Ball with Kaneko who's still on her seat looking at Issei back while unconsciously brought her hand up towards him before realizing what she has done and getting up going back to her room in a hurry with her eyes already start watering. Kaneko. Thinking with regret I'm an idiot why did I push Senpai back? Why? At 30 visiting the Gremory and the Citri. Scene change unknown path heading towards Skeeth domain. Scene showing Skeeth who came out of the portal driving his steam bike on the way to his home. Skeeth. Hmm. Good thing I found back the spare part. Can't believe that I forgot that I put it on my personal mind. Noticed that he was about to arrive well then. Let's go check out what my guest been doing. After done parking his bike on garage and when about to get inside his house noticed that there's a single mail sticking out from the mailbox before taking it out reading it. Skeeth. Um, so this mail goes like this oi author why don't you fix all the horrible grammar on earlier chapter it looks so messed up and hard to read and understand the story well i got several reasons first is because i'm lazy second because i purposely leave it like that so that i can see the comparison of my past and present writing style to check it out when i have time third because of nostalgia sometimes it make me put a smile on my face remembering how amateurish i am back then fourth is because i'm writing just for fun while also learning to write at the same time and that's it but skeeth finally get inside the house heading towards kitchen area, feeling most of everyone else energy signature gathering there. Skeeth. Hey there everyone give finger salute. They say. Oh Skeeth and welcome back, come join us. Skeeth. Chuckle before go to his seat and start eating well how was it going lately, especially you both looking at Issei and volley any progress with the fruit power. They say. He not much it was really hard though trying to switch between tangible and intangible state and trying use it at same time with X gloves was quite hard though. Ollie. Indeed not to mention training our control so that we don't accidentally freeze or burn anything we touch with Issei nodding in agreement. Ravel. Um Issei Sama if you don't mind I can help you training with that. Issei. Really? You're awesome Ravel start hugging Ravel excitedly making her blushing red. Lavinia. Hugging Volley from his back making him blush I can help you to Virginia Cunt. Volley. Stuttering from unexpected contact why yeah tea that would be appreciated tea thank you. Skeeth. Give knowing smirk anyways. Where's Razor? Ervil. Oh, little bro. But the door of the kitchen opened suddenly with Razor came inside the room going to his seat looking haggard and dried up, while followed with each of his peerage members were using wheelchair moving around with their faces practically shining from happiness. Razor. A well and long front battle, but finally Razor managed to preserve and win. All the men giving Razor a salute of respect knowing what he just went through last night. Lord Phoenix. Together with Ruval give encouraging hug to Razor welcome back soldier. Ruval. You have done well. Azazel goes to Razor giving him a medal, here's a badge of honor to you son, for surviving the battle. Men of Gx cast. We the council of men approves give a salute to Razor who returned back a salute of his own. While other women sweat drops seeing what just happened. Skeeth. Chuckle before getting up do his dishes well you guys do your thing first, I'll prepare for the next viewing first leave the room. Scene change viewing room. But Gx cast came inside the room joined up with Skeeth and get to their seat, well noticed that Skeeth was doing some maintenance on his dual guns. Hauki. Oh, isn't that the one that was on the display was that the original one? Azazel. Now that I have seen it real close I can feel unimaginable amount of power from those guns scratching his chin in wonder. Skeeth. Yup these two are my trusty dual guns during my days as humans still pack quite a punch in the state I call it. DGX. Issei. Whistle man that was cool name for a gun. Skeeth. Oh before that per cup before opening two small portal where one towards Rue 23 theater showing foolish Sumeru scholar who was in the middle of badmouthing Nahida, you are so bucking dead bitch proceeds to point his gun, continuously shooting through the portal towards the scholar, making a donut on his stomach, killing him in the process, before brought up the smoking barrel of DGX, blowing a wine through it, voice from the portal Aka Rue 23. Yo Unison Skeeth make sure next time that portal appears above or beneath the guy or girl you are planning to shoot or attack next time to make sure there will be no casualty. Also tell the others the same as well. Skeeth. Got it and sure no problem I'll tell Korbanek and the others shouting back inside the portal before turning to another portal seeing the offering screaming in pain from being eaten alive by sleeping as it good. Seems like he got his meal already turned back to first portal grinning before spoke ominously be careful my dear scholars. 
but Ski finally closed both of the portal and noticed that X cast looking at him with unease. Sudden scene change Devil Artemis Universe. Meanwhile within Corbinic that was also watching from their own portal, let out satisfied smirk, watching the imbecile got turned into a donut from being shooted by Skeeth. Crack in his neck with malicious grin. Corbinic. Chuckle well, guess it's up for my duties to revive them in case Skeeth messed up. Cell. Tried to peek over what in Corbinic are watching guys what are you watching? Corbinic. Oh nothing trivial and a holy shit. Jaw drops after notice that Rashi currently dual wielding Mexican Jesus Christ sandal beating the cheaters, while Zarbin still playing with his own nipples scaring terrorizing the cheaters. Whistle damn did Rashi just did Starburst stream with those sandals. Hermit. I think he is. Shallot. Speaking of when Skeeth will come joining us. Shrugs I don't know, he's still busy entertaining our guests. Corbinic. Anyways popcorn. Brought out several bucket of popcorn, while everyone else brought their hands up wanting one. Sell. Give me vegetable flavor gotta stay green. Back to present. Is say. Oh what happened just now? Skeeth. Oh, it's nothing. Just decided to see other being like me that currently hosting a viewing like me but for different people. And decided to shoot the imbecile. That bad thing a little god that me and other beings like me respect for their hard work and the little god was someone that either knows. But cast nodding not pressing the matter further. Skeeth. Well, without further ado seeing that everyone here, let's begin point the remote to screen while still doing maintenance on his gun. Screen open. Screen change Gremory household dining room. Scene showing Issei and Vali together with Gremory family enjoying their meal. Zioticus. Thank you for visiting Issei san Vali san, I'm sorry if the meal is not up to your taste. Issei. It's okay Zioticus and the meal was really good though, please send my regards to the chef that cook all of this food. Ali. Same with me I can feel that the chef put their entire passion to cook good meal like this every day, and that they really love art of cooking to make food like this. Benalana. Fufu, we are sure that all the chef will be thrilled after hearing such praises from our esteemed guest. While in the corner all the female chefs that was secretly watching, let out silent cheer between each other, while sneakily glance at Issei and Vali with blushing face. While Issei Harem and Lavinia give small pout feeling little jealous watching how those female chef looking at their man with interest, while other gas chuckle seeing that. Iku. Guess this other volley was more popular with girls than our volley Hutchuckle in amusement. Arthur. Adjust his glasses with a smirk indeed it is it was quite a sight to see. Hiroka. Nyahahaha, you're right. Morgan. Giggle all of you are right if I don't see this I wouldn't probably believe this. Bull volley shaking his head exasperated from the teasing from his team. Zioticus. Honestly me and my wife are quite shocked when we heard from our daughters that someone younger than her actually become a teacher in the school she attends. Ollie. Snickering in his mind younger ha dot dot if only they have known. Then Alana. And we are thankful for looking after her together with her peerage, speaking of they didn't make any trouble at all, are they give side glances to Ria's making her nervous. Issei. Remembering the time when they invited him to ORC and the other time they spying on him before shaking head decided to spare them from trouble. Nah they didn't make much trouble at all even, if they did it wasn't that severe though considering that they always keep up with their studies. Then Alana. R.I.C. I'm glad for that, would be a shame if. Trailed off sending hidden message to Rias who gulps saliva nervously. They say. It's okay Venelanus and they are still young, everyone make mistakes at some point and in their youth no need to punish them over small matters. Venelana. You fufu if you say so say san. While Rias together with her peerage let out small breath having managed to dodge the bullet. Zioticus. Oh by the way do you want to see picture of Rias I coincidentally brought her photo album right now brought out big photo album, putting it on the table, there's also picture of her when she's still a toddler you won't believe it how cute she is back then, Rias. Oh to san why you do you bring my picture album here? This is so embarrassing getting up from her seat blushing red embarrassed before hurriedly snatching the picture album leaving the room, Akeno. Ara Ara seems like president has something she doesn't wish show us. While Rhea's already covering her face that was already the same color of her hair feeling embarrassed with her father antics with Akeno patting her back as sign of support, while still chuckling from seeing what just happened. Serzich. Chuckle by the way Issei Kun, Vali Kun are you both staying here, tonight we can prepare a room for you both, in case you both decided to stay the night making Issei and Vali thinking about the offer. While Rhea's that was still outside the room eavesdropping and Akeno secretly wishing that Issei accept the offer. Issei. Well. Seeing that you insist, I'll accept it but do you mind if I stay in the same room with this guy using his thumb point towards Vali, someone need to watch over him, in case this guy are up to something again, give pointed look towards Vali, who snap his fingers from disappointment, while Rias and Akeno sighing in disappointment seeing that Issei decided to stay in same room with Vali, Vali. Oh man, I'm not a kid anymore, Issei no need to watch me all the time, give a pout beside we're staying at other people house, I'll behave myself, I'll promise grinning, Issei. 
Eye twitching furiously yeah right like I'm gonna believe you after what happened last time remembering the time when Vali Nagi and Jack decided to do their own shenanigans. Small flashback start. Scene showing the time when Vali Nagi and Jack decided to stole all toilet paper, leaving only a piece of sandpaper and cut off water supply, while also trapping a say Aishan and Kurt in the toilet stalls for days, and also put a magic barrier at the toilet, making them unable to use magic to escape a Blankly looking at the sandpaper in his hand that was extra thick and coarse on both sides, the god of toilet paper has abandoned this place, please give me strength. I should know is say it wasn't worth it, Kurt. You are still young no need to sacrifice yourself for us two old man here let me be the one to do it, is say. It's okay guys, it's already been a week since we're trapped here not to mention that you both are still recovering, since the last battle let me make the sacrifice to let everyone out not to mention that only the one using the sandpaper will get their toilet door open I promise to come back for you all. But both Aishan and Kurt let out move tears hearing Issei resolve before deciding to respect it while Issei still in tears, stealing his resolve, deciding to use the sandpaper to wipe his ass, gritting his teeth in pain through the process, while screaming murder in his mind, Issei. Thinking furiously I swear those three are gonna pay for this stunt, flashback end, all both Drag and Albion silently snickering remembering that incident and the aftermath that happened after Issei managed to catch Vali Nagi and Jack, but cast wincing and flinching in pain after seeing what other Issei just went through, Ali. Instantly laughing his ass off seeing how his other self pranking Issei holy crap did other me, decided to just do that hey Issei you have my condolences do you need some bandage? Give mocking grin, making Issei eye twitching furiously, Issei. You are so dead proceeds to lunge at Bali chasing him across the room, Azizel. I widen in horror holy shit dot dot that looks painful as buck I can't imagine using sandpaper to wipe our ass, not to mention how coarse that sandpaper is, Greg. Even I doesn't wish such fate on my enemy, Albion. I stand corrected that version of Bali is a menace, Serzich. Speaking of, who's the one beside Bali and Nagisan? Skeeth. Well the name of the big guy that was hanging around with Nagi and Bali is Jack Rakin, among of his famous title, are the Thousand Blades the ultimate hard worker, and some more. Bulk's cast unknowingly get chills in their spine. Cow cow. I don't think I wanted to fight that guy. Especially during close quarter combat. Hercules. Yeah I also get the feeling too for some reason. I say. Wait dot dot you guys too. But most's cast also pondering the same thing. Skeeth. Well you guys wasn't wrong, though it was said it was practically suicide if want to fight that guy in close quarter combat, cause the guy was easily as powerful as Nagi in close quarter combat and he capable came back materializing himself after get erased from existence with just pure fighting spirit alone. Another small trivia that guy capable to make devastating move on the spot when fighting him, but Xkas jaw drops hearing that, Saji. You're joking right? Great red. Okay as powerful as I am dot dot not even I can revive myself if get erased from existence. Office. Not even I can do that. Michael. I don't think the Trahixa can revive itself too if get erased from existence. Issei. That was just pure bullshit no way that's true, it's too broken. Serzich. How the heck Nagi-san managed to defeat that guy. Skeeth. Shaking head amused and I all you want but I speak the truth, there's another two title that was my favorite even, if one of it gonna be mouthful, it's called the human atomic bomb, and that damn guy who you can stab with swords all you like and it won't do a thing, damn it, but cast sweat drops hearing the titles, Azizel. That's one long ass title. Ollie. I know it gonna be suicide but I'm gonna fight him to test myself if got the chance. Issei. Same, I'd probably lose but I'm gonna try too. Sererg. Same with me. Skeeth. Will we waste enough time already, let's continue turn to screen with Xkas do the same. Scene change Gremory household bath area. Scene showing Issei and Bali was currently taking a bath with Lavinia together with Issei harem and former harem together with those that interested with Issei. Instantly get a nosebleed watching Issei and Bali semi-nude form. Saji. Got too much information instantly covering his eyes. Azizel. Sure I would like to see some nudes but not this kind of nudes. Issei. Finished washing his hair Ryu, finally done oi Bali. Bali. Shaking his head removing excess water in his hair and what was his. Issei. Do you think we will found back sensei? Looking down depressed. Ollie. Slap Issei back trying to cheer him oh come on Issei of course we will I get a feeling that we will find him back soon. Greg. Speaking telepathically with Issei and Vali, no need to feel guilty over what that has already happened even him wouldn't like it if you start blaming yourself up for things that wasn't your own fault to begin with. Albion. Doing the same like drag drag right, and it happened suddenly and we wasn't prepared when it happens it was his conditions that end up separating him from us. Ali. Nodding in agreement yeah, I'm pretty sure that sensei currently trying to find his way back to reunite with us cheer up, will ya? Issei. Why yeah you guys are right, thanks guys. Ali. 
You're welcome buddy, let's get cleaned up and go to sleep yawning. But both Issei and Vali finish taking their bath and goes to their designated room to sleep. Serzic. Seems like their teacher got separated from them because of his own condition I wonder what it is. Issei. And my other self was blaming himself about it I wonder what happened back then. Auden. Guess we can just wait and see. Next morning. Seen showing Riaz who was outside of Issei and Vali room knocking the door. Riaz. Sensei Vali-san, it's morning already. I-S-S-E-I and Vali. Give us a moment we're about to finish changing right now. Riaz. Sighing before muttering if only Sensei stay in separate room I could. But the door opened suddenly making Riaz flustered. Issei. Giving Riaz puzzled look you could what? Riaz. Oh oh I it's nothing I'll be going first to dining room, see you later sensei hurriedly leave. Old Vali snickering in meantime watching what just happened. Vali. Thinking ah young love. Issei. Turn to Vali you got any idea what actually happened bro? Vali. Sweat drops before giving poker face feigning ignorance nah I don't know, maybe she's constipated. Probably holding a huge one I think. Issei. Pondering a little before nodding in agreement feeling Vali is right ah I see that was probably the case seeing how she was sweating and leaving in a hurry just now. Meanwhile with Riaz who was heading towards the dining room start to feel depressed for unknown reasons. Baldix cast especially Riaz mouth gape open in shock seeing how other Vali guessing that other Riaz was constipated and other Issei decided to just believe it without questioning it, while some holding back laughing feeling sorry for Riaz. Ikeno. Riaz. Noticed that Riaz already become unresponsive from shock. Iku. Holy shit that Vali just destroy her reputation easily just like that. After a certain amount time with scene showing Issei and Vali bidding farewell to Grimory family and use the another scroll opening a portal to Citri family. Yeah sure that I'm being lazy but pretty sure that everyone can't wait for bigger event rather than watching visiting chapter. Issei. Alright, we'll be going to visit Sona then. Good luck on your match with Sona Riaz. We'll be watching the match of you both when it start. Riaz. Thank you sensei we'll show you the results of our training with her peerage members nodding in agreement. Issei. Good luck then with the match about to turn. Riaz. Sensei. Issei. Hmm. With Riaz suddenly came forward kissing him on his cheek before stepping back blushing. But both Issei and Vali finally disappeared into the portal with Issei a little stunned with Riaz's action, while Vali just chuckling amused seeing Riaz's action. But Riaz just putting her finger on her lips remembering the happier times with Issei, especially the time she always kissing him. Scene change outside of Citri household. Scene showing Issei and Vali finish teleporting, and they noticed that Seraphil burst out from the gate charging towards them especially towards Issei, before glumping at him snuggling on his shoulder, with Vali or already getting out of the way, chuckling amused, seeing what just happened, while Sona followed with Lord and Lady Citri to meet their guests. Sona. When he saw me please mind your manners please he blushing embarrassed seeing Sir Awful action, while also wishing she was in Sir Awful place. Well Sir Awful also decided to do the same thing like her counterpart making other harem members pout feeling little jealous, while Issei blushing red feeling Sir Awful ballistic on his shoulder. Sir Awful. Mao no need to be so uptight so Chan besides Issei Chan doesn't mind it is that right Issei Chan? Issei. Eyes blinking from sudden question before giving a shrug nah I don't, besides you aren't that heavy though you feel as light as feather, though making Sir Awful beam in happiness. Lady Citri. Fu fu fu, pardon my daughter rudeness Issei san, she's been a bundle of energy like that since Venelana san told us yesterday that you're gonna visit us today. Lord Citri. Chuckle while let out mischievous grin even our little Sona Chan also the the same, even though she tried to hide it she, literally jumping up and down in her room last night, cheering after she got the news of you visiting us, making Issei eye blinking in wonder, before turning to Sona, that was already blushing red from embarrassment. Sona. Oh to Sama you back a punch Lord Citri right in the gut, making him fall to his knees before running away going inside the house, covering her face from embarrassment. Lord Citri. Clutching his gut in pain worth it. Lady Citri. RR I'm sorry for showing you both this scene my husband has tendency of teasing little Sona whenever he can proceeds to help her husband getting up. Lord Citri. Pardon me dot dot but it is my duty as a father to tease my daughter even if it gonna backfire on me. Well both Issei and Vali sweat drops after watching what just happened. Issei. Well I can understand that. Vali. Someone that we know always take every chance he got to embarrass his daughter when he can. But both Issei and Vali remembering the time when Aishin would try to embarrass his daughter but would fail every time because of Satsuna always keeping watch over Kanoka. Balziodicus together with Lord Citri and Lord Phoenix approach between each other and proceeds to do triple handshake feeling kinship between them. Ziodicus. Seems like you guys also doing the same too towards your daughter. Lord Phoenix. Of course it's the duty of us father to tease our daughters. Lord Citri. And it was worth it despite the incoming pain. While Rhea, Sona and Ravel covering their face from embarrassment remembering their father past antics. All three. 
brothers for life while crying proceeds to do group hug with a sunset and a rainbow magically appear above them, making nearly every X cast give horrified look, while some screaming terrified after see what just happened. Great Red. What the buck was that? Danon. My ass it's burning. Ow cow. What kind of sorcery is this? Michael. Dear father what was that? Azazel. What kind of phenomenon is this? The energy expelled from them is about the same as balance breaker of Longinus class sacred gear. Then Alana. Oh no, you don't pulling Zeoticus away from the group hug with his ears, while well, Lady Phoenix and Citri also do the same with their husband, Skeeth. Chuckle amused okay dot dot that was unexpected, now I got new torture materials looking at the video of Sunset Group Hug Mark II, Lord Citri. Haha, <laughs> come on we already waste enough time already, follow us goes inside his house followed by his wife, while Issei and Vali shrug off following the Citri family going inside their house, seen showing Issei and Vali together with Citri family enjoying their meal while Sona nervously sitting in her seat while shyly glancing at Issei who was talking with her parents before Seraphal, start a conversation with Sona and whisper, Seraphal. Tapping Sona's shoulder making her turn looking toward an Iso-chan, Sona. Huh, what is it one Isama? Seraphal. Well, putting her hand on her chin giving a grin you like him right. Sona. Wh wa what are you talking about? Blushing red embarrassed. Seraphal. He you can't hide it from your one e chan I've been around watching you growing up so I know when you like someone. Seraphal. You let out defeated side your right one Isama I like him but. Start giving smug grin making Seraphal start to feel nervous wasn't you also the same? Seraphal. Yeah what are you talking about W, why would I like someone that my own sister likes, I'm not some kind of horrible person that would steal from my own sister, briefly showing sad face but Sona managed to catch the glimpse of it, Sona. One Isama, don't try to lie with me please be honest with me if you lie I will hate you forever give stern look at Seraphal, making her sweating bullets from the threat, before sighing in defeat and speak the truth, Seraphal. Yeah I like him you could say it was like love at first sight but I'm nervous, though thinking if he would like me knowing how older I am compared to him more, so when I learned that you also like him too so it's better if I gave up letting someone more prettier and younger to be with him while I'm just a childish old woman start looking down depressed, Sona. One Isama you big idiot start cleaning her glasses letting out exasperated sigh before taking a deep breath and do a karate chop on Seraphal head, making her gripping her head yelping in pain, Seraphal. I tie why so Jan. But everyone else turned toward Seraphal and Sona after hearing Seraphal yelp of pain. They say. Something wrong Sona. Sona. Waving hand nervously forgetting that there are other people in the room before grabbing Seraphal hand dragging her out from the room oh oh, nothing sensei, please pardon us we have some matter to discuss as sisters. Seraphal. While well, still rubbing part of her head that got ea so chan. Where are we going so chan so chan? But this a tilt his head puzzled with their behavior before deciding to shrug it off while both Lord and Lady Citri give knowing smile, knowing what they are talking about while Vali was. Vali. Thinking whoa who ya baby future in laws confirmed baby I can't wait to be an uncle. Azizel. Honestly I'm having this thought Vali would probably become like this if stopped before shaking his head, thinking it wasn't his place to talk about Vali past. While Vali giving grateful nod towards Azazel for respecting his privacy, seen change Seraphil office, but both Sona and Seraphil already taking their seat and continuing their conversation. Sona. Alright one Isama, first, throw out those depreciating thoughts you are among the most beautiful women in the underworld even more beautiful than me, and Ria's I know that you are affected by how other people are mocking your childish tendency but that's the part of your charm, besides you are my sister and I know you better than those fools out there besides it's time for you to find your own happiness too, sure I'm surprised a little bit that you also like sensei too but I'm willing to share with you and work together with you to win his heart, besides dot dot working together was better than working alone and it's better to share rather than one of us sacrificing their own happiness. Seraphal. Do you think so that I'm not annoying to him? Sona. Of course not have some confidence on yourself one Isama you are the leviathan one of the four satan yourself. Seraphal. Ue you're the best so chance start hugging Sona out of happiness. Sona. Pushing Seraphal out from the hug making her pout all right now we need to plan on how to get closer to him. Seraphal. You're right but how? But the door opened suddenly showing Lady Citri who came in. Lady Citri. Fu fu fu, don't worry my dear daughters I have solutions for that, Sona. Akasama. Seraphal. Akachan. But Lady Citri give them a letter that read, alright I know that you both have hots on my brother, and I can feel that you both truly like him, and you both got my approval, below is the list on his say like and dislikes and a list on how to approach him, good luck my future in laws. Signed by Vali Hayadu, but both feeling thankful with Vali for helping them with their quest of love, and start intently reading all the list about his say, while well, Lady Citri chuckles seeing her daughter antics, Azazel. Turn to Vali giving him a smirk hey Vali, Vali. Raise eyebrows what? Azazel. 
Do you want to work part time as a Cupid, seeing how your other self smoothly being a wingman for his AI? Got a Cupid clothes ready for you with Volley frozen in shock after hearing the suggestion, but some of the X cast accidentally imagining Volley in Cupid jet up making cute gesture and flying kiss before turning green in disgust and running away to the bathroom throwing up, is say. Why sensei just why I continue throwing up, Iku? Erg the image stuck in my head bleared, how cow. The damn image are just cursed Buerg. After a while with everyone else finally returning from bathroom and noticed that Azazel already beaten up full of injuries, courtesy of pissed off Ali and continue watching ignoring Azazel who was moaning in pain. A day later after staying the night, seen showing Issei and Vali opening up a portal getting ready to return to Phoenix household while bidding farewell towards Citri family. Issei. Well, it's about time for us to go good luck with your match Sona. Sona. We will show you the results of our training sensei you wouldn't be disappointed smiling confidently with her peerage members doing the same, Issei. Chuckle I'll be waiting then about to turn, Sona. Sensei. Sir Afal. Issei Chan. Ali. Smirk thinking knowing what gonna happen head dot dot deja vu. But both Sona and Sir Afal stepping forward with both kissing him on the cheek, making Issei eyes widen a little from unexpected action before both of them stepping back blushing red from their own actions, Sona and Sir Afal. Thank you for visiting us. Issei. Be very well. You're welcome. But both Issei and Vali finally disappeared into the portal and appear in front of Phoenix family household. Ali. Chuckle seems like you get caught off guard two days in a row huh lil bro. Wiggle eyebrows. Issei. Oh shut up you. Rolls his eyes unamused with Vali antics. But both of them start walking towards the gate of Phoenix house chatting in the meantime. Screen close. With everyone else getting up stretching with Issei noticed Saji who was deep in thought in his seat. Issei. Hmm, what's wrong Saji? Saji. Oh, I'm just thinking dot dot if following the course of the timeline my other self supposedly would still admire Sona Sama and would throw a tantrum after seeing her kiss other you, but I wonder why he smiled looking happy for them, remembering how his other self giving a thumbs up after seeing other Sona kiss other Issei, Skeeth. Chuckle in case of your question Saji it will be about to be revealed, just wait in the meantime, Saji. Blinking eyes puzzled before shrugging off if you say so. Britra. Thinking head dot dot if my guess is right, it's probably about that. Skeeth. Cracking his neck well I gotta go for now you all enjoy yourself then see you all later waving off with Xcast waving back before leaving the house heading towards his garage and start driving his steam bike into another portal. But most of the Xcast decided to do play Warrior Rachi seeing how they still got time before hitting the hay. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.